Are we on? Are we live? Uh, no, give me a few minutes if you want to swear a bunch right now, that'd be great. Man, I just want to go out there without the viewers knowing. I just want to say I love them so much. I don't want them to really know, so let me know when we're live. Yeah, uh-huh. So. Hey, hey, Devin, can you, uh, can you talk for me? Yeah, just open your outside. mouth. Hey, how's it going, everybody? I'm happy. Yay, Adrian's All right, happy. fully incoming. All right. Get you some kind of trap door system so you can just like drop into your chair. <laughs> That'll be advantageous. The plunge dwarf has arrived. <laughs> okay. Hi, Welcome people. to Strands of Destiny. Hello. Hi. Uh, can you say <laughs> that in that uh, weird? Uh, Hello. Yeah. Well, actually, I wanted the other one, the non-translated. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Every time you did that. He was just, his face was in his keyboard. I, I don't I don't think I can fully, I'm sure people at home uh, can appreciate this. I don't think you can fully appreciate how amazing that sounded in headphones. Yeah, for those of you watching, that was Candle Keep Mysteries earlier when we were talking to Gripplings. Gripplies, yeah. That Gripplies, was yeah, yeah. Oh, the Gripply. Hey, everybody. I'm here on chat, so chat will be a little less responsive from me, uh, but I will be watching and I will uh, be hanging out with you still. And uh, let's guess, uh, so let you know that tonight we're not doing Deadliest Dungeon, but we are doing Deadliest Hero Quest. So the heroes of the Deadliest Dungeon will not be in, in character, not be costumed. <laughs> so I don't want to wear that costume while we're playing, uh, although maybe we will. <laughs> uh, playing Deadliest, uh, playing Hero Quest, uh, and our character sheets will basically just be reflections of our characters. So we'll just uh, go and uh, Adrian uh, can uh, ham it up. Yeah, and, and I'm uh, gonna I'm gonna conspire with chat and throw all kinds of extra deadliness yeah, at you. It can be extra deadly. Yeah, yeah. look at them. All right, monster on every space. They're all gargoyles. Not every space. Some of them have to be traps. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Let's uh, let's dig Enzies. Oh, jeez. Wow. All right. Well, uh, that's for everybody. And we're oh, off. Thank you so, so much. So Richter, actually, sorry. Uh, that's uh, is that two for Peanut? I think. No. Okay. Hang on. I got this. <laughs> I got this. You've confused me. Everybody, but uh, I'll deal with this. You okay. go ahead and give us the. So our hapless heroes of uh, heroic um, hindrance. Heroism. Sure. Have <laughs> uh, heroically blundered their way into the Fen of the Fallen. Good for us. They're heading towards a stronghold, which they believe, according to a divine gift that uh, Foley received houses some answers as to what has been going on with the vortexes and the rips in time itself that have been appearing, and that Eke and other chronomancers are being blamed for. Well, hey. The temporal mystics are currently awaiting uh, something from Eke to prove that he is or is not responsible, while at the same time, uh, they have been fighting against undead plant creatures, some uh, industrious cultivator druids, and uh, some undead beholders and mind flayers. All kinds of interesting, as well as uh, some acidic, boneless creatures, of zombie origin. Yeah. People. There were a bunch of jerks. Yeah. yeah. They, they yeah. plunged on top of you. It is time for people to get fox blocked. Fox blocked. <laughs> All right. Yeah, time to there. get fox blocked. The, also, uh, I, I called Richter myself in chat. <laughs> Was that? I was like, you the man, Foley, I'm talking to Richter about giving us inspiration. <laughs> you had to have some time. It's, you know You're what? the man, Foley. <laughs> this is why I'm in the cage most of the time. Uh, I do me. You're the man, Foley. <laughs> just picture Adrian get up in the mornings. Now he just goes to the mirror. He's like, you the man, Foley. <laughs> I can see that. I can you, see that. You don't have access to my cameras. You can't see that. What's even worse <laughs> is that Richter is in the mirror looking. He's just checking his beard in the morning and his phone goes off. You the man, Foley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Welcome to Six Sides of Dicking About. So right. we have a dragon on the loose. So yes, uh, two main things happened last week. One was that Foley obtained a new hammer of adamantine and set with a gem of fire. Yes. Gives you powers over fire, cold resistance, and a few other things. Uh, I was lazy, so my Warhammer does not have a gem in it this week, but hopefully next week it will. Well, you're not lazy. You this just, was a... You work with yeah, me. Yeah, I don't yeah, let yeah, you yeah, have yeah. free time. <laughs> it's fair enough. This was a hammer in a dwarven vault you that had been left behind by some of the original creators of these ruins that you're currently uh, going about in. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it had been burned away by acid that was being poured into the rooms for some reason. 
Uh, they were con- they were rigged to disperse acid throughout them, and you're not sure why, but it was a thing that happened, and it burned away some fake stone that revealed the vault. You also well, found... Well, just to be clear, though, it was actually, like, building up pressurized acid gas. Yes. Yeah. You also found the, so- the source, where you believe to be the source, was a black dragon that was being held oh. beneath the, uh, the ruins... And uh, there was a tower that Is had thrown a few spells at you that Havark was quick enough to deflect. Uh, hey. That was feeding energy into the dragon to cause it pain and cause it to expel acidic gas, which is being channeled into what you would assume are the various buildings rigged with pressurized acid gas. Yes. You don't know why this is here. No. Nope. But it is here. We return to the story. Just out of curiosity. This is a bit of a non sequitur. Mm -hmm. Uh, Now that the dragon is freed, my assumption, and maybe this isn't fair, is that the pressurized acid will stop now. I think that's a fair assumption. Reasonable assumption. Okay. Yes, we, yeah, so you have freed the dragon. You rescued it from its uh, uh, prisoner uh, um, guards, which were uh, very well trained undead soldiers and Mm -hmm. an undead mind flayer, which was of particular interest to Foley, who got his brain racked quite substantially. We. He is. There was a, they, there was a there was an illegal play there, but we're good. <laughs> uh, the the mind flayer tried to get fresh with me, but uh, my crew had my back, so we're all good. He only lets uh, very select tentacles in him. <laughs> <laughs> and only on Tuesdays. Or the hive. <laughs> As the dragon had clawed its way up back through the ceiling and out of the well, and it began roaring in furious uh, happiness. There it is. Only a dragon Go! can exhibit furious happiness. Now, we were going to rest down here. Yes. But we decided to uh, adventure, or were we going to just enclose this space up? And so make while we are considering that, we there is a D30 thing. in the center of the table. Yes. yes. I, held yeah. I held it earlier. I held it earlier because I'm like, we're going to do this? I was like, wrong game. <laughs> yeah. We'll uh, we'll go around the table, and we'll start uh, introduce our characters, Trust as me. well as I will ask them a question based on what they roll, which can be very personal or very random. I have the squeaky chair today, one of them. You got the squeaker! We both no. do. Squeaky's there. got the squeaker. There are two. We need there are two d- now? There are multiple. We need some WD-40. Yeah. Anyways, go ahead. Don't you get yours squeaking now. <laughs> <laughs> it always has squeaks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I am Tommy, hello. And I am playing Eke, a vulpine fox-like creature, white arctic fur with two tails, because that was a wild game where he got two tails. Mm-hmm. And uh, he is a chronomancer, which is a, uh, a, a offshoot of a, cl- a class called the Sage. He messes with time in very profound ways. And my role on the D30 today is a one. Oh, a one. Your How character does, so you dies. Get, you get the easiest one. How does Eke introduce himself? <laughs> he often just walks up and stares at people and uh, will invasively read their thoughts to find something about them to make the conversation awkward. <laughs> That's accurate. And then... <laughs> the time icebreaker. If they are, yeah, the time icebreaker. He uses time icebreaking. Um, and quite often, if the conversation is going nowhere and was be considered a waste of time, which is often, he just simply walks away. <laughs> he's kind of a jerk. Can confirm. He's a super neutral jerk. So he's nice if you're nice. He loves the people he loves, but... Do not waste his time, or he just simply walks away. That's okay. Speaking of walking away from conversations, we should also point out that your uh, cohort, uh, Seibel and uh, Yuliton, yeah. are also down somewhere, presumably in the same network of tunnels that you're currently in. And maybe Eke still walks alive. away. <laughs> <laughs> Every time she talks, he gets a question. That's she asks true. her a question. He just she starts to she talk. She only saved your life. <laughs> that was funny. Whatever. She starts to talk, and Eke just hands the sending stone over to, uh, to, to Foley. He's like... <laughs> it's, <so true. laughs> it's happened like four times. <laughs> we're <talking> fifth element. <laughs> just like, he's, like, he's like Chris Rock. Whatever his name is, not Chris Rock. The, uh, Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker, thank you. Uh, that guy's so good. All right, that's me. I am Sarah, and I'm playing the one who loves many and all and finds joy in the martial dance and peanut butter, also known as peanuts. You can do That's that, but you can't remember the Swiss chalet. It's Swiss because chalet. there's too many H's, That's why. <laughs> there's too many H's. Hey, I was speaking uh, snake speak. Chalet. You can't say yeah. well, well, it's called I have issues chalet. with letters. Give us a, issues with letters. I do. I really do. I have issues with Give certain combinations D30. of letters. Let's see what your D30 roll is. Yes. 
another high one. 21. It's one blackjack. <laughs> For the high. Oh, no. What humiliating moment from childhood plagues Peanut in quiet moments? Do we have the, we already had this one for her? Did we? Did we she have really there, Yeah, there was something about. I think it was uh, that was the one with the sibling. All right, then go yes. ahead and reroll. Okay. What are the chances of getting a twenty-one twice no. on a d thirty? Uh, oh, now in... now the numbers are switched around. It's twelve. Well, when tired, what does Peanut picture as a comfortable place to rest? Probably at home in her family's garden, just sprawled out on the grass with <laughs> her spouses just hanging out, staring at clouds. The spouses. Mm-hmm. The good Stroganoff anyway. and... and uh, <laughs> Stroganoff. Stroganoff and... Oh, um, oh my God. I'm Did you stuff. forget your spouse's name? No, I can... Uh, Not one of them. Queso. Okay. All right. Yes. Queso and Stroganoff? Yep. Love yep. it. Nice. Very with nice. peanut butter, yeah. Very nice. Um, I am Adam. I am playing Hyvok, <laughs> a druid of the Circle of Spores and Mantidaean, a bipedal mantis person who uh, likes raising the dead and raising the roof. Uh, so <laughs> let's, let's, let's figure out what I'm going to be answering today. He's dropping the vibes like he drops the mic. Um, seven. Seven. <laughs> Do strangers think of Hyvok favorably or unfavorably? <laughs> I think we all know the answer to this question. <laughs> uh, with trepidation, um, he's like a six foot tall albino mantis man that usually has a horde of very interesting individuals cloaked in burlap that don't seem to like the sun uh, following him places. People don't tend to like his presence. <laughs> Except Foley. Except Foley. Yeah. We have I an mean, understanding. Yeah. Well, and, you know, Fox Block over here. <laughs> All right, let's see what I got. I got a 14. I'm twice as good as him. But but only two-thirds as good as you. Yeah. So. But you can't ask the <laughs> question until we know who you are. Yeah. Oh, you want me to introduce me partly first? Okay. Uh, I, was... I am I am Foley Embeard. I'm Adrian, but my <laughs> character is Foley. Uh, and I am a plunge dwarf, You're and that is Foley. a class race. <laughs> Clays. 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 Or Why rass. can I never figure out the plunge door is a race? <laughs> Just say it's a lifestyle. It is a lifestyle. <laughs> it's a, it's it a is true. It's it is true. Really. You Chosen identify vocation. as a plunge door. Now that I've made a fool of myself. Fourteen. If there was a contest based around one of Foley's skills. Plunging. What would cause them to lose? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, memory, <laughs> mem- memory tests of, of uh, the difference between class and race. <laughs> <laughs> Final answer. I feel like yeah. a lack of height. He would. He, the so only. So if there th- was a contest of plunging, Look, what, what's something that would make you lose? The only thing that could possibly make uh, young Foley lose. Old Foley is a different question because the knees go. Mm. Uh, but young Foley, the only thing that could possibly make him lose, is he would start to plunge and then he would forget that he is a plunge dwarf and that he thinks that's a class. <laughs> And it would just go horribly wrong. Uh, I would have just said 10 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Give or take about 10 feet. It's uh, like, well, <laughs> if it was a plunge contest, what would make him lose? 10 feet. It's like, oh. <laughs> uh, 10 feet too many. <laughs> I can proudly say that uh, apart from that one acidic thing that dropped on me, which uh, it met its untimely device, uh, nothing has ever beaten Foley at plunging that he's aware of or would admit to it. If you don't say it, it's not canon. That's right. If nobody knows, if I killed everyone who witnessed it. If nobody goes back in time and watches the entire stream to find (laughs) it, it doesn't exist. That's right. And if you do. It has been erased from history. And if you do, (laughs) thank you for watching all of that. (laughs) (laughs) At this point, it's starting to get up there. It it is. You're watching the whole series of Friends or catching up to this. All right. So... So, happy roar of a dragon attacking Hooray! its uh, enemies. Go echoes parsley! From above, and you hear what it sound like echoing distant shouts. Um, and then you hear two other roars. <gasps> it's got friends. Mm. I wonder if one of them is my friend. They're probably both my friend. Are we resting? Fair. So, we discussed this a little bit, totally out of character. Um, there is a wizard tower that seems infinitely powerful that may or may not kill the dragons. Right. Which we may or may not care that much. 
You were, you were a little you were a little trepidatious about freeing the thing because it didn't seem to have altruistic intentions. Well, Foley was on board with it, um, but at the same time, having now freed it, uh, I think from a character perspective, I don't. It's free. It can do what it wants. I'm sure it could fly away if it wants. I just don't think it will, and it will probably end up dying. Eke's okay with that. Yeah, I, I think I am too. Yeah, if we're okay with perspective. that, then I think, yeah. because if we're going to go face anything, I don't even think I have an augury point left to cast a spell. Yeah, uh, long rest would not go amiss. You have yeah. potentially bought yourself a distraction, extra time. There is that separate Still question. Be a risk. Uh, so if, so you, if you were trying to infiltrate, this would be the time to do it. <laughs> yes. The other way around it. But um, there are tunnels that go off in other directions down here as well. First question. Uh, and I can make a check of some sort if you want. Do we think we would actually get a chance at a long rest down here? Well, I think it's probably, you probably like, there was there's rest. certainly a chance that it could happen. The, the main thing that would come to your mind is clearly someone put this dragon here. Yes. He's now out there. They might come looking. They might come fi- trying yeah. to figure out after they've killed it or it's gone away or it wins right. if somehow that happens. It won't last eight hours one way or the probably other. Probably not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so they might come looking for it, but there's nothing saying you couldn't go further in the tunnels, figure out what's down here, and then find a spot to rest there. Right, which would be an assuming this place isn't patrolled by probably the better of the options mm-hmm. to go and find Cybel. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's queue up and go. Did you want to cast locate creature again, or do you? Um, if I have spell slots. <laughs> I don't know if I you am do or not. Actually, I, I think I'm not drained because I was on my ass for the entire time. I'm pretty encounter. okay. I can, oh, um, I don't want to let you die, but I could, um, I can use bolstering magic on you to give you back yeah, a spell true. slot. So, the, actually, the bigger problem is that I don't have it yeah. prepared. Oh, yeah, I'm, well, absolutely, I'm absolutely drained. Okay. Um, so, you can just pick a direction and go. Yeah, I mean, I can sending her, but I'm not sure that you will You also help. have the stone that literally communicates to you. That's what I mean, yeah. yeah like, yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll, I'll Bring out the stone and. Cybel, we have freed a dragon. Uh, oh. Wh- whereabouts is that are what you? That is? <laughs> yes, yes. You must be close if you've seen it. I think we've actually neared the. Um, where we need to be to enter the stronghold, in fact. I believe we are in it. Um, well, actually, do I believe that we're in it? I believe you're in the. Sort of, if, if there's a stronghold, there would have been a town around it. Okay. And then a wall around that. You're in the town. Okay. I will relay that to her. Um, what you'll need to do is head, and she gives you a... I actually don't know where you are geographically, so I'm just going to give you southeast. Would she know that from where we are? Uh, Yuliatin knows that. He's a druid. Okay, he, he, okay. Can, he has, like, cantrips and stuff gotcha. that let him determine this sort of cool, stuff. Cool, cool. Not that I want to make it harder on us. Uh, okay. Uh, well, perhaps you now, should... Whether or not you know which direction oh, is yeah, southeast is uh, another question. That's but. a separate problem. Um... Well, perhaps you would wait for us until we get there. Yeah, not a problem. Entering together would be... It'll be good to see you again, Foley. (laughs) Yes, I believe Eke is much looking forward to seeing you. (laughs) (laughs) I, uh, I, 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 even though I'm sure you all heard this, I, like, put away the Sending Stone, and I'm like... So the way the Sending Stone works is it literally is, like, it broadcasts yeah. on both ends. So regardless, I'll put it away and and say, well, uh, based on what she told me, I believe that we should head southeast. It was southeast, right? Yes. Yeah. Then let us go. Lead the way. That was a roar of pain. I am medium, medium okay with that. If it is foolish enough to engage in combat in such a weak state. Does anybody here understand Draconic? Mm, I don't no. think no. this character does. The no. loom did. I think doesn't Highbark speak Draconic? I speak Primordial. Uh, I speak the language of the elements. I do not. Oh, sorry. Okay. However, I do speak with dragons as often sure, as I Sure, I'm just pointing can. out you don't know what it's saying when it's crying. Um, with Ow. that said, um, well. <laughs> I do have various spells if any of them are prepared. Let me just tongues take a would quick look. I had tongues. Um, but I think that was a couple days ago, Take that perhaps. Third level spell slot. Oh no, Me? I still have yep. tongues uh, wow, prepared. Thank it you. would burn my third level spell slot that remains. Uh, but I could, if we care, I could right. do that. I got. Th- uh, oh, I appreciate. Oh yeah. Your ability to restore mana through the weave. You are a versatile friend, Peanut. I got magic. <laughs> do we? 
<laughs> okay, turns and walks away. No, no, okay. <laughs> Magical jazz hands. Do we see. care what the dragon is saying? I could arrange to understand it. We can figure that out while as, we move. As could I. We can hear it all over this place. Mm. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll communicate. Okay. No! Yeah. No! <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't take it. Okay, I will, I will cast it then. Okay. Uh, so I'll, I'll cast Tongues so on my cr- You're hearing it crying out, um, My sons, I will put you down. Oh, uh, it appears to be fighting its children, the ones that they used to betray it. Oh. I do not believe we should be involved in a There's domestic. the sound of thunder cracking in a big bright flash that goes through the air as lightning hits something. I think that our chances of survival are is, low. And is it called lightning spell? No, it's a lightning bolt. Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I can, I can still cast that. Well, not yet, but I still can cast that. Uh, I looked at everyone and go, there is powerful elemental magic at foot here. We must yeah, move. There is yeah. a hell of a fight going on above ground. <laughs> My <laughs> largest concern is that if our dragon not friend does not survive, we have two dragons and a tower to fight. I might be able to damage the tower as we move. I be- but it will sacrifice our ability to move quietly. I, oh, yeah, yeah, I pass without trace. I believe that quietly is not our largest concern at the moment. Let us use the distraction. Yes. Yeah. How are you yes. for health, Peanut? Me? Oh, I'm fine. I only I have, have my five up. down. <laughs> you only five down? You got yeah. spell slots, right? You should, you should. Well, actually, I still have. I haven't used my first oh, aid this rest. No so. other way around. Sorry. Yeah, you're at five. Yeah, I'm at five. Do we have any healing pots? Uh, no, but I don't think I've used my healing on anybody since our last rest, so I can do uh, quick heal on people. Do you need your spell slots? This doesn't take a spell slot. He's got a healer's, healer's kit. Oh. I took the feat that lets me use healer kits. If we're going to go up and do it and mix it up a bit, then we yeah. better get uh, Peanut yeah, at so least this able point, to take The question a punch. is whether you want to go down the tunnels, So our options here, are tunnels, try and rest. You can go try and rest and in the tunnels, too. Go out and mix it up. Yeah. I have the cube. If we need to avoid things while we move, I can give us moments. Fort- that is the Sweet. opposite of stealthy, though. It's a giant cube. <laughs> well, it is invisible, but they'll know as soon as it hits the edge. Um, I, I think we should uh, go mm-hmm. underground. Do we want to take a short rest? Uh, we can take a short rest in one minute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. For sure. Okay, I got Veil of Time, so. <laughs> We start uh, the area around us just like kind of shifts in and out of first out of uh, uh, reality, and you see like the slow yellow and green hue of time shifting magic, and we you also see insectoid creatures just off in the distance in the mist of the veil, just watching. I'll look over. Do we notice them or just him? Uh, you would be able to see them as well at this point. He's been able to see them this whole time. Hi, Bark. Do you know them? Do they look familiar? It is an insectoid creature you've never seen. So it's not, not, not a mantidae. It's not a mantidae. Would I make a check to see if I recognize what they are? What would be most applicable? I think Arcana or Nature. Well, they're both the same, so let's let's roll those dice. I'll slap myself. So depending with... on which one you choose will depend on the information I give you. I will do... I will do nature. I'm a okay. druid. Slap Makes myself sense. with some guidance. Okay, high roll, natural 18. Plus 2 is 20, plus 1, so 21. Shills. Shills. Gills. Oh, Gills. Gills are an insectoid race that inhabit the veil, the, the space between the veil and the material. Um, they tend to do different things. Sometimes they're very hostile, sometimes they leave you alone. Do I know if they speak a language? Uh, yeah. Do I know what language they speak? No. <laughs> <laughs> they might speak common or merchant. They probably don't speak merchant tongue. They might speak some of the older tongues. I'd say my tongue's pretty old. I will say in Mantidae, and I'll look at them and go. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse yourself, boy. <laughs> or, uh, hi, Mark. You're the man. And I'll basically just tell them, watchers in the darkness. They just sort of slowly back away into the mists and vanish from sight. 
Fine. Be that way. <laughs> we move. So you get a short rest within the span of one minute. Yeah. I already took it. Yep, so you can do your uh, hit, dice hit dice and, and stuff. I'm sure stuff. did. Okay. Burn most of them. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> I don't get anything back on a short rest. No augury, no manipulations, no nothing. Well, Actually, you, could I have? Could I have? I think some come back on a short rest, but I don't think you have any. Could I have done something really quickly before Foley? Uh, what do you want to do? Um, quickly before he does that uh, wild shape into because I can actually do this now. Wild shape into um, a um, what do you call it? A locust, and just fly up out of the hole, just to the lip, to just see the air. See for what's a going on. Just see the air for a moment. <laughs> you see. The black dragon, Ivalokopos, uh, l- losing a battle against two zombie dragons. You also see, uh, on top of those dragons, robed figures hurling spells at Ivalokopos. And you can see the tower that you had seen before firing off lightning bolts at the dragon. It is very much losing this fight. Uh, but you can also notice that uh, there's a fair bit of destruction that has occurred on the ground. Things have been eaten away by acid breath. Why am I doing? How is Parsley doing? Not good. No. That's a shame. There are figures riding undead dragons, mm. hurling spells alongside their cursed tower. That black dragon is not long for this world. Well, he did say that his children were betraying him. They have no choice. They have been risen. Risen in a way most foul. And I think at this point, Hybark, just to get it out there for everyone watching and everything, is uh, the zombie beholder, undead with the skill of, of like trained soldiers, Zo- uh, an undead mind flayer, and raised zombie dragon. This is beyond... Some necromancy. Normal necromancy. <laughs> Some big necromancy. Yeah. Sorry, was that gasp appropriate? That's up to you. Huh? Okay. I say yes. I feel like it's fairly obvious. I just wanted to get it out in the open. I feel like we were walking into death for the last, like, four weeks. So well, hey, is, you yeah. asked for information on the swamp, and they said everything in there will try to kill you, and you were like, ah. <laughs> yeah. I mean. You have, you've done quite well. You've done quite well. <laughs> of course we have. Despite the fact that you poked the corpse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if we spend any longer here, that fight will begin to tunnel towards us. We must leave this place now. Yes, to the southeast. And that I just question. start walking a random direction and hope it's correct. I'll give you a D8. Sure, sounds good to me. Because I have no idea how to find my way underground in tunnels. It's a four. Okay. I can give you a luck roll, too, if you want. Go it for it. <laughs> Uh, no. Big okay. no. Okay, then you Big go four. No. Then you go whichever direction four is. Great. <laughs> How we, far away was that dragon above? Like, from where, like roughly? Ah, uh, 80 feet. 80 we, feet? High in the air. We right. m- okay. must make the decision to help now or flee. What do you say, Peanut? Me? Uh, Not just you, but I ask you first. Uh, I mean... Dragons like that aren't typically nice, but then also zombie dragons aren't very nice, but also we need to meet the other people. He turns to Foley. What do you say, Foley? <laughs> I, I, I stop walking in whatever direction Four is. Uh, I turn around. I agree. This would be the time to help if we were going to. Hi, Vok. If they can raise two, they can raise three. Oh. He makes a valid point. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and let's get out there. So we'll, we'll, we'll. He would know about these things. Carefully. Make your way out. Okay. If I can get close enough, I can stop it from being raised for ten days. That will get them riled, force them to go check its place. Then. Yeah, we can actually both do that, so we can potentially. Mm. Uh, How do you want up? to uh, climb up through the gaping hole that has been carved out? I will reverse plunge. <laughs> <laughs> is there any way we could set a trap down here? beings of that power, I do not possess the capabilities. Yeah, the best I could do, and it would take a, quite a while, would be to, like, consecrate the ground. 
only we had a time bard. If only we had a time <laughs> bard. If we had a time bard, he could do what he wants to do. Yeah, Would right? th this desk was a time desk. So, Community sorry, reference. so there's a gaping hole to get up? Yeah, the dragon, because originally you came yeah, down a, is there a well. To, is there anything to climb on? There was. The dragon kind of clawed it all out of the way so it could fly upwards. So there's nothing to climb on? No, you need to, like, throw a rope up or a grapple or something like that. I could throw someone up. You could also do that. You could probably throw Eke up there. Dwarf toss. Oh. Or, or, well, I don't know. Foley's <laughs> No, Eke yeah. would be the better. Uh, have we, have we determined? No, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll go up. Toss me up. Uh, <laughs> did you tie, like, a rope to him or something? Or do you have a I rope? I got a rope. Okay. If I don't have rope, I'll get a rope. Don't worry. <laughs> Throw down the rope. What rope? So you arrive back up in the uh, now mostly empty pool of water. I'll stealth. Okay. Excellent. Uh, wow, that's good. Uh, that is 26. Okay. You huddle down to the ground, and uh, so far no one has noticed you because there's a giant dragon attacking them. I'll tie some rope off to some nearby stones that can give some good girth, and then... Throw that down? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll begin climbing up. I'll use my scythes to help me, like, clack at the walls, one hand on the rope. Sure. Move up like that. With the rope, you could all climb up, I think. That's okay. It. I will do that. Mm-hmm. Directly to the north is the building that you came through to get to the uh, to the well. That was the one that had the... Uh, it, was it was it was empty, but it had... It was You experimented with the gas, the pressurized gas plates. That's yeah. that, was that building. Directly to the east is sort of a winding path that seems to lead further into the ruins. Uh, directly above you is the combat of dragons, spellcasters, and magic. Well, we are here. How do you anticipate that we should help in Can this combat? Can I get a better look at those riders? Be perception check. They're like 80 feet away from you, so and they're flying around. Gedons, um, as Cray would say. Um, <laughs> Cray. Mm. 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 <laughs> we roll that. Marginally better. Um, I could do something stupid. Oh, that's a 19. That sounds like a good plan. <laughs> 19. Uh, one looks to be an Iranian. The other looks to be a dragonborn. These are the ones that are tossing spells? Yes, on the backs of the dragon. And they're, and they're, and they're of robed. The, of the, of the, yeah, they're, like... they're robed up. Yeah, they're like hooded and everything. Very, very culty vibes. Very <laughs> necromancy vibe. Ah, yes. The good, the, the good I, shit. Black um, robes covered in skull motifs. You know, the, I, the whole shebang. I'll pass the information on. Can still communicate with them. They are no more to speak, as it seems. This dragon will not survive the fight. Yeah, he's not looking too hot. He's uh, bleeding profusely. In fact, is he, is he hi Vark, can you please make a deck save? A deck save. As the dragon's very acidic blood <laughs> <laughs> drips down near you. Uh, 14. Okay, you just step out of the way. <laughs> this, this, is, this is one of those situations where if somebody doesn't stop fully, he's going to do something reckless. We need to Peanuts, move. just Get watch what's going on. First plunge! Not quite. <laughs> Takes do off in the air. Do not call up to them, whatever you do. There you go. Okay. All right. I, very well. Oh, wow. Gamer, thank you. Just Hi, thanks. Two for everyone, including you. I'll hey. let everybody add that themselves, because right. otherwise I'm going to be doing this for like an hour. Thank you very much. You my, you're, you're the best. Okay. Oh, thank you. So you don't want me to call up to them? No. Mm, I'm they're grumpy. against the dragon, they're doubly against us. You you managed to make these things uninteresting. I will say also to the west you can see the, the tower with the crackling energy ball at the top. I could call it too, but I don't think it would do much. I can distract if you would like and strike the tower with lightning. Where, which direction are we headed? And are we helping the dragon or are we simply moving? I mean, we came up to help the dragon, right? From so what like, I can see, from, from, my, from my just visual knowledge, yep. these two other zombie dragons, are yep. they slightly bigger, slightly smaller than the other one? Well, they They're said they smaller. were like children. So. Medium sized versus the dragon, which is large sized. Okay. They look like wormlings. So it's possible. Have I seen them yet spit anything out of their mouths, or are they just like hacking and clawing? They are breathing what looks to be just pure death. Ha! Negative energy. My favorite kind. Well, it would, would be a damn shame if those guys fell off those dragons. Oh, it would be. It would absolutely uh, be a horrible time for them. 
I don't have anything I can do here. Not not at this distance. Um, How far away are they from us? 80 feet. 80 feet? 80 feet. What else is going on uh, anywhere else near the tower? Uh, the tower just appears to be zapping at the dragon. So the, the tower itself is zapping, or yes. is something in the tower zapping? The tower itself. Well, some kind of automated system. So the, the young dragons are 80 feet away? Yes. I will pose this to all of you. <laughs> Do we want... A black dragon on our side to help raid this fortress, or do we want a corpse well, to pillage? I mean, we we already came up to help the dragon. Yeah. So. yeah, there were tubes that were in the other dragon that were shooting, that were draining the essence. Yes, and it was seemed to be there were tubes going down into the dragon, and there was also like connection of tunnels coming like from where it would breathe into the rest of the chambers. Shit. My uh, my high jump ability—that's just a movement, right? Yeah. If you cast I, jump ahead of time, you can do serious. Uh, yeah. Serious <laughs> so I, mean, I could reverse I could, plunging. I think I could jump at least twenty feet, presumably. Which strength? Uh, that's a good question. Let me check. Strength is plus three. So it's sixteen. Sixteen. You could probably high jump twenty feet. Uh, with the jump spell, yeah. I think. Yeah, can. that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, I yeah. should be able to cast jump, and then, but I can cast jump on one round and then use it the right. next, right? Well, you could cast jump and then jump. Yeah, but That's I want to do something else when I'm jumping. Then you'll need to wait a turn. Double yes. jump. Yeah. But <laughs> double jump. <laughs> no, I don't want to double jump, but, but I could I could cast it, jump, and then do another action since there's no like combat issue. Yes, here. I'm fine with it. Okay. So I am going to, as one of the children flies overhead, I am going to jump twenty feet using my jump spell. Okay. And I'm gonna cast banishment on the dragon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are! <laughs> And I'm gonna yeah, set you your, are. And, well. I'm, and I'm gonna set your saving throw to one. Yeah, you All are. All right, I was gonna say zombies <laughs> don't exactly have great charisma, but I'm not taking the chance. That uh, that That's zombie right. dragon just <laughs> pops out of existence. <laughs> Little help scream. An Iranian hits the ground and is barely an Iranian. <laughs> I thought that might fall to kill it. 80 feet and a wizard? Yeah. Yeah, oh, I was wizard. Like, <laughs> it's begins! <laughs> uh, this, of course, draws the attention of the other dragon yeah, I, rider. I thought it might. <laughs> they looked down. Oh, I just gave myself a whiplash headache. Oh, Jesus. That was amazing. I will come back after one minute. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's not permanent. Uh, does anybody else want anything they want to do? That was great. So the other he, one is the He Iranian. just leaps. <laughs> <laughs> and then pff, hits the ground. And it lands right on the knees. So that Naranian is like raining, holding to the dragon's reins, right? Uh, so dr this other one's a dragonborn. Oh, and it's and also the dragonborn, and it's holding on to the reins. The Naranian like, was on one, and the dragonborn was on the other. The Naranian is now a pile of goo. And it's like what, sixty feet away at this point? Uh, well, they're eight, they're eighty feet, but I think he'll be diving down to get closer to you guys. <laughs> yeah, right, I save I save an action for when it gets in. Got it. Guys, closer to me. Got it. Um, uh, I'll. <laughs> Pull out. It's about to go down. Uh, one of my yeah. uh, javelins and hold it until it gets close enough for me to throw feet? it. Yeah. That's How dangerous. far away is the top of that tower from me? The top of the tower is about. Uh, it's about also 80 feet up. Yeah, it's a tall tower. I'm also going to go away from the party and spread out a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's probably wise. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, just saying. Like, how many How many actions do I got? I've only got the cast jump and. Um, Assuming you were doing something before Foley did the jump, okay. then you'd get two actions, but... Okay. Um, all right. Uh, I'll keep the cube in one get hand. Get that ready? Get that the ready. breathes, I assume. You would like to activate the cube? Uh, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll keep my hand on the no magic button, but... Um, before that fun stuff... Let me just double check the range here. No, nope, it's too shallow, but that is okay. I would like to ready... Sorry, does, does, does the zombie dragon, the second one, look like it's swooping towards us? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's coming out like to take a look. I would like to hold my action. Oh, you have to... For yeah. when... I would like to hold a thorn whip for when mm. the rider is within 30 feet of me. Hmm. That's not bad. It's not bad. All right, that's a good idea. That's I'm great. holding this spell for when the... You're holding... I know the dragon also, is close Gee, I wonder what spell you're holding. <laughs> I will then smack is? the anti-magic uh, button. What do you guess? I think it's Augury. Yeah, yeah totally awkward. So smack the anti magic Augury. button while Foldy's doing that. All right. Well, nice. in that case, the dragon does descend down to get. Let's see. Within count, um, the, count the feet out from eighty. Hmm? <laughs> count the feet from eighty. Go fives. Seventy-five. 
He's going to get try to get within uh, 15 feet of you guys. So, oh, so 80, 70, 60. 60 feet for whole person? Yeah. yeah. And his on the dragon? Uh, no, I can't. On the on the rider. Oh, right. It's whole person. Yeah. 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 Oh, not whole monster. Duh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you want to let me break no, 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 the no, no, rules, no, no. and uh, and uh, his semi throws a one. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> because B wants to see fun stuff. Let's give B what she wants. Lightning goes to Crocker from his from his draconic fingers, and he just and he can't really hold on to that satellite. No, nah, he can't. So you know, I'm gonna make have him make a luck roll. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm scooping up soon. All right, the uh, slightly more rainbow one is the lower. So he failed to uh, yeah, or uh, so he's, uh, he failed to save, and then succeeds on luck. No? No. Okay. Black roll failed on my part. Okay. My so, thorn whip go off? Hmm? My thorn whip go uh, off? Uh, that was at 60. That is correct. But yes. Yep. Well, but that happened at 60 feet, but the dragon's continuing to follow yeah. its last order it was oh, given. Oh, so I'll wait until yeah. it's within 30. Yep. And then advantage because he's you paralyzed. You have advantage because he's paralyzed. <laughs> Naturally, the 26 to hit. Okay, you wrap around him and <laughs> throw him to the ground. He takes. Oh, minimum. He, takes, he only takes two it's, points it's of crit. piercing, but I yank him. It counts as a crit. Oh, within five feet, it counts as a crit. Ah, you're correct. So it's a two, two magical piercing, and he's yanked off the back of that truck. <laughs> yes, he is, and he hits the ground for... What's the range on that? 30 feet? 30 yeah. feet. So he's pulled 10 feet towards me, so 10 feet diagonally down, and then... 12 bludgeoning damage on top of that. So... That leaves us with just the dragon. Nice. What the heck is my mage? So far, so good. That was the yeah. that was that was the great that was the great combo. And when <laughs> it's close enough, I'll be throwing my javelin at it. You can go ahead and do that now. Okay. Are you throwing it at the guy or the dragon? The dragon. It's close enough. It's within 15 feet. Okay. Oh. It's coming hot. Dark Natural energy Rollis. is breathing around its maw. Naturalis Uno. Oh, she's rolling oh, again. Oh, we got Wait. the reroll. I have Naturalis the three o. Ten. Ten? Yeah. Well, that doesn't hit the dragon. No. No. No, it wouldn't. All right. I think with that... Uh, I bet it's going to breath attack Yeah, I'm assuming you guys are all spread out, right? Uh, I said I... You, you're definitely. I you're would definitely not have out. time to have done anything. I, I have not moved. Fair enough. I was to start with. So I slammed I, face number four, and I have not moved. So I think probably you and I would be in the same spot, at the very least. You two probably not so much. No, I would have moved wherever I But I literally just high jumped from where I was, mm -hmm. so... However, this may not work, depending there on you are. that dragon's breath. <laughs> no, that's totally fair, yeah. I'm, spell effects can't pass through the barrier. I'm not sure if yeah. that counts. I mean, that won't, that won't count. Breath weapons acid, aren't yeah. spell effects. We've had this discussion. I yeah, did yeah. not know. We had this uh, <laughs> discussion when we were working out the effects of Rennick versus uh, yeah. spells. Yeah. And that's non. a special ability of a Inquisitor high level. So yeah. I think you're yeah. going to get the two of us with the breath. Sounds good to me. Uh, so you both right. should give me dexterity saving throws as negative energy wreathes forth from Ooh, this negative. Zombie, yeah. zombie dragon's mouth. Sure can. Um, uh, being a little too negative there, Devin? No. This is sorry, dexterity? Dexterity. Ooh. Dexterity shit. Nice like, relaxing music for this fight. Yeah, I should probably do that. Mmm, that's not good. But we're gonna just... You it's know, a wormling. We're, we're gonna... I'll reroll. We're it. gonna go ahead and set that because I'm, I'm, I'm Paranoid? crazy. So I'm gonna set that to a twenty for a twenty-two. That's not better. I got an eleven. Eleven's not enough. No, I didn't. You will take the full brunt. Yeah. It's twenty-two. So, it's twenty-two necrotic damage. Well, okay, that's not, that's not that bad. And you will take half of that. 11. It's a wormling. It's not terrible. And that's why I wasn't sweating it too much. I figured it probably wasn't like. Uh, and with that, that yeah. we'll do initiative against the Woo! zombie dragon and the poor arcanist Woo! who's probably not gonna make Natural it to his 20. turn. Natural twenty. How many of those have I rolled today? 27 Natural initiative. 20! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, what is happening right now? Yeah. Twinsies all over the place. Right, you're twinsies. Oh, twinsies. <laughs> I rolled a natural 10. Oh. So what is that total? 22. And you're half my height. No, I'm, 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 I'm a half fox. I'm half your height. Yeah. You're double my And you got a 10, you said? 10 even, yeah. I have no bonus to initiative. 27. 27. Well, you're probably I have alertness. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. What about Peanut? Uh, 16. Okay. Durgan. Gonna go ahead and roll terribly because he's a zambi uh, for a, uh, for something. What about um, other Durgan? And then the <laughs> mage Durgan. will Aww. get. Thank you, Richter. You the man, Foley. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, is it my turn? It is. You saw the dragon kind of come down and. But there's breathes. this dragon bone on the ground, right? Yeah, he is on the ground, still held. He's oh, still, still held. in the position from when he was on the dragon. But he's this like is the, the one ground. that doesn't break if. Uh, 
No, you can keep, you can attack him all you want. He just makes yeah. saves on the end of his end. He makes saves every turn. That's the only way he can break out of it. Richter gave you one too, Hyvark. Oh. Thank and you. Then, yeah. There we go. Oh. Look at we got a bunch of player uh, I will, friends here. I uh, will just distort the veil on him. Okay. Because I'm pretty low on everything. Well, he failed. So he takes two from these beautiful amber carved dice from Estonia. He'll take Pretty. a grand total of four. Thanks, thanks Estonian dice. Okay. Failing he, me. He does survive that, but he's still, I mean, he's not doing great. And, bad, and as, 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 he, as I'm doing that, I'm walking up closer and closer to him. Like I'm just like, and I'm looking over into his eyes being like, you is will it, not I mean, harm this history. Okay. Uh, hi, Bar. How far away am I from the downed person? Uh, like 10 feet. 10 feet? Where was the downed person when the breath weapon hit? Uh, further back. A little bit diagonal, yeah. We'll let it go this time. No, 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 no. It's a line. Oh, yeah, because I pulled so. him towards me and then he fell. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. I will. He fell while he was swooping. I so will it's begin not to be approach, in like in a shuddering motion. I'll pull out the club and just. The beetle start cracking, so I'll cast Shillelagh. Just stand over top of him and be like, Time to be mulch. Fulfill the cycle, my friend. And I will smack down with <laughs> advantage. Dragon attacking the party, and they're just beating the defense. Yeah, I was noticing <laughs> that actually. Advantage. That is a. I can catch a lately. Oh, uh, twenty-two. Yeah, it hits the wizard. <laughs> the wizard that can't have reactions right now. And uh, yeah, he's gonna take crit damage. Oh, right, he is. So you're within five feet. Four, and then again. Four. That is 17 points of magical bludgeoning damage. Cool. 17, you say? 17 points of magical right. bludgeoning. He's not looking too good. He's Was he to start with, though, in fairness? No. no okay. <laughs> not looking long for this world. 17 points of magical bludgeoning damage. His, his shallow um, breathing has become almost unhearable. You hear it loud crack as a rib, sh a rib cracks. Yes. Also, I'm carrying the cube with me, so even if he could cast spells, he can no longer cast spells. And yeah, peanut. <laughs> Stand over him. Um, Dragon's so... 15 feet in the air. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, I'll do a thing. Um, how far away from it is it from me? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's about, you. would say, a total of maybe 30 feet. You were able to throw your javelin at it. Yeah. So. Would I be able to run and, like, jump on it? Don't think so. Fifteen feet's a heck of a jump. Yeah, he had the jump spell. Although you're very strong, right? And I could like could like Captain America the helicopter and bring it down. If you were to maybe climb up on the building, how high can you, how high can someone jump up? Oh, fifteen if, feet above us, or fifteen feet from the ground, or fifteen feet? It's from fifteen our feet head? above the ground. Yeah. Oh, that's you're ten feet. That's, you have to jump five feet to catch it. It's a tree. She has to jump like seven feet to, to okay. grab hold of its legs. Okay. Fair point. Because you can I'm, swing five feet away from you, so you don't have. Yeah, you only have to get within. You only have to move ten feet to get within range of him. Yeah, that's not too bad. How does jumping work in this? I I don't know. The, the rules are on that sheet I gave fully. Yeah, I can I can bring up. Are the, those are those jumping rules? Yeah, I gave. Him, I just for quick reference, I put the jumping and falling rules in his. Uh, yeah. In his sheet. So I can I can read out the actual. I think ten feet is more reasonable. I think that's perfectly reasonable. Yeah, mm -hmm. given that you're super for your, tall, it's for what your strength totally is and how tall you are. Yeah. So I think I'm like. If you're willing to jump and swing. I think that's fine. Well, I was gonna try. Well, yeah, yeah I guess jump and swing. Bam, would bam. Work. Work. Yep. <laughs> Nope. Yeah. Are you yes. recklessly at doing this, or? Um. Well, I gotta rage first. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. You should do that and roll your die. I'm yeah. gonna. Ooh, it's, Ooh neat. it's a good one. It's the Care Bear Stare one. Oh, okay, I was gonna say if you get the teleport one, this is all mood anyway. Oh, that would have been so perfect. Fair point. Um. Let's see what the thirty be. So it's the con save one. I'm okay, get my you'll D6. make the con save. He's pretty good at those. Being a dragon zombie. Uh, fifteen. Yeah, it beats it. Um, so then, is the down dragon born like in the path that I would run towards? Can be. He is now. Okay. And I'm just, I'm gonna there. run on him as I'm running towards it. Just, cause just why not? Step on him. Yep, just okay. step on him. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna jump and swing. Okay. Make two attacks. Advantage. 
First one is going to try again. There we go, that's better. Natural 20. Ah, ah critical ah, hit. Ah. Everybody's got to get one in the party today. So uh, it's three plus oh. your strength oh, modifier seven. feet. Okay, is so the, her strength is what, six? Yeah. Or so plus, that'd be a total of six? Yeah. Well, it's, plus it's, it's, plus it's, her height. Her height. Strength I'm willing to it's, it's, it's in it's the neighborhood. Seven feet. Also, like, arc of a swing. Like, I think you could probably hit. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> uh, thank you, uh, Knitting Knives slash Sober Chad. Uh, Knitting Knives says two for everybody, including That's Devin. Me. Hey. Why are yeah. you giving me be, stuff with be, my own thing? Because Sober Chad bought bits on the wrong account. <laughs> I was wondering what that charge uh, was. <laughs> I was going to say, I know that's your account. I just think that's hilarious. <laughs> uh, did you get the. the uh, I, I put an inspiration shot for Richter earlier. Uh, yeah, did, did I? It was uh, if he, only if he rage. He rage. Inspires from Spec Darian. Or... He hasn't yet. Okay, yeah. So no. It's got to be a rage. What are we looking at for damage there, Peanut? Uh, seventeen That's on the funny. die plus five. And this is a crit, right? Yeah, yeah. So it was seventeen total on the die. Okay. Um, and then plus five. My brain just stopped there. Uh, twenty-two. I guess. I guess another attack. I don't know how that would. On work. your attack. Yeah. You activate one of its abilities. Oh no! And as a reaction, it immediately recharges its breath and breathes. Oh, oh no! Shit. So can I please get you to make a deck save? Because it's targeting you with it. You have advantage. You got danger sense. You do. All oh, right. Yay! So that one was a fifteen. Seventeen total. Okay, you take eleven necrotic damage. Uh, mm. As you just managed to twist out of the way midair. Mm. Yeah, that was quite balletic. And take a second swing. This, uh, uh, this swamp is pretty warm. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit humid here. 23 to hit. That does hit. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's lame. Uh, six damage. All right. Oh, damn it. Forgot it me. does survive the second strike as you hit the ground. And being that it's a zombie, it does not care. But... That does take us to um, the Durgan. So I will roll a recharge die. And, okay. It roars as a... Wait, Parsley ro roars? Yeah. Good. Parsley. Uh, oh, yeah, he's uh, he's directly dealing with the tower. So, Good. Uh, Evilocopus just lands on the tower and begins breathing into it Ooh, that's to just a good burn one. it away. <laughs> that's probably going to be good for us. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, well, he he really hates that tower. Yeah, I bet. Uh, yeah. It's been it's been torturing I, him for a very long time. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, in the meantime, the zombie dragon has created a cloud of darkness all around it. Um, so everyone within five foot radius of it cannot see, which is currently nobody, but it is now enveloped in a shroud of darkness. Mm. Uh, which it is remaining in, uh, as I'm it assuming appears. magical darkness. Huh? Magical darkness, I'm assuming? Yes. Ah, yes, very good. Uh, I can't see It blocks that. line of sight for all creatures. But I can still hear it? You know it's in there somewhere. This, uh, attacks will be a permanent disadvantage. It ha yeah, it, it has It has full, well, it has full <laughs> cover, and well, uh, uh, you can outright miss even if you crit. Like, you have to designate a point that you're going to yeah. aim at. Uh, but that does take us to the Arcanist, who's going to make a Wisdom save. At the end of his turn, thank God. Okay, he's no longer paralyzed, but that's his turn. Fully. The dark oh. splotch is still 15-ish feet, or...? Yeah, it's still in the air. I'm going to turn undead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yep. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's the way we do it here down in Amaria. Yeah. Sounds good to me. It will so. on its turn. It will do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> as long as it can hear me. <laughs> Boy just holds up his hat. It says you're a heretic. Okay. The uh, four parts. Arcanist is beginning to rouse and get up and is like, <laughs> starting to get a spell or just breathe as like bits of gas begin to emerge out of its mouth. Dragonborn. Yeah. It's your turn. Oh. What would you like to do about it? You can't cast spells in here, by the way, just so you know. If, if you're next to me. I'm not next to you. I'm not next to you. No, he's like way out. Yeah. He made yeah. sure to get himself very far away. Oh, good. 
Good, good, good. He's not looking too good, eh? He's looking near death. It's pretty good. Like, like real near death. Um, I don't know if I put him in stiff breeze, but he's almost, almost at that point. I was gonna hit him with the staff again. Actually, like, this is starting to be fun. That might work I, if you roll well. Sorry to interrupt. I will say to be fair. I will say to be fair because that wouldn't have probably happened otherwise. I will have my cube off, or else I couldn't have shillelaghed anyways. I'm assuming you haven't activated it yet. Okay, then, never, never mind that. The, he can make a charisma start, save. Start I'll destroy him from the veil. Nice. He succeeds. Uh, no damage for him. Oh. Uh, that's fine. Uh, and then I will... Uh... Shout to the dragon. Come get me. Let me ride you. And I back up. Mm -hmm. This is what I mean. I have no idea where this can we go. We will destroy like this it. tower together. I like it. Persuasion? Yep. Not exactly uh Not exactly a case case forte, forte. But a 15 isn't so bad. 15 hey, is fairly reasonable. Um, I will help you destroy this tower. It doesn't need. <laughs> and I back away. I feel like okay. what you're rolling for here is just whether or not it's willing to give up on destroying it itself for a It's minute. doing a pretty good job. Yeah, I imagine so. Well, it's not being harried by three Well, exactly. Yeah, it's not getting attacked by two spellcasters and two dragons. And a tower. <laughs> well, still being harried by the tower, but at least it can okay. deal with that. That's my action. All right. Uh, Highmark. You're still standing over this rousing arcanist. Is he still prone? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, still advantage. It's, his, on, it's at the end of his turn is when he broke out of it, so he hasn't yeah. had a chance to do anything. Yeah, see, why would I kill it? Tap him. Tap who? The guy yeah. on the ground. Just Yeah, tap him out. Shillelagh? Are you what, knock him out? You can do that with a shillelagh. No, oh, I'm trying to kill him. Definitely kill him. Try to kill him. Okay, okay. Uh, but, um, yeah, I will I will do the I will do the old-fashioned shillelagh at advantage because he's prone. 19? Yeah. He's a wizard. He doesn't get the critical, though. No. No. Is, um, that is still... Oh, wait, does Shillelagh let me add my... That's your wisdom, yeah. Oh, right. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's, uh, that's 10 awesome. points of magical blood in him. Uh, you kill him. As a reaction, I'm going to use fungal infestation, and his eyes, like, turn milky white, and that mushroom just grows out of his mouth, and he just gets back up. <laughs> nice. And okay. I, I raise a zombie at 1 HP. Dragonborn zombie. <laughs> As a reaction, which I have none of, I would like to say, for the hive. For the hive. <laughs> yes. All right. Peanut. Um. You can ready an action. That dragon's going to leave that place very quickly. <laughs> it's going to run. I guess I'll just ready to I'm, swing. I'm a little sorry, by the way. <laughs> That's great. I mean, we still got to deal with that one you've banished. Yeah, it's going to come back. And this one will too, actually. I didn't, Eventually. I haven't really dealt with either of them. I've just kind of. No, but opportunity attacks will be a thing. Yeah. Can I just bonus action aim my Care Bear stare into the light? Yeah, you can. I'll have you make a luck roll. Okay. No. Wow. Five and then one. All right. Oof. It's. Uh, it, it, just eh, whatever. Through it darkness. was a thing. And then I'll just hold my action for, I don't know. Okay. That's a good Dragon that just seven. sails out of that darkness cloud, <laughs> heading as far away from Foley as it can. Oh, uh, nice. A full 160 feet away. Nice. Ooh, it's fast. Dashing with flying. By the time it remembers to come back, we'll kill the other one. <laughs> well, see, this is the thing. I'm oh, sorry, 120 feet. How many rounds? It's only been four rounds. A minute, right? so ten. It's gonna yeah, be going. We've only been like three rounds for us, right? It's only. It's gonna go 120 feet for ten rounds. No, I mean, but the other one that's banished. It's been like. Four oh, it's rounds? been three rounds. Three yeah, rounds. Okay, yeah, it'll we come back. We'll have a few rounds with it, and actually, I mean, depending on if we can. I mean, I know we're in combat. So Technically, not, combat has ended at this point. Yeah, I just, there's I no know, threats, and, um, I, and 160, 120 feet away is basically out of range. I, I'm. I don't think anyway. I, I guess fully has something that you can. No, I don't actually. I was gonna say like as my action, just because I know there's like a time limit here. I'm gonna just do like a perception, I guess. On does it look like our friend Dragon Parsley is winning against the tower? Yes. Oh, it does. I mean, it's 50 50 as to whether it's gonna take him down before he destroys that tower, but that tower's coming down. Okay, okay. The tower's definitely coming down. The problem and is that dragon is bleeding profusely. Yeah, fair but enough. incidentally, his blood is acidic and is helping him destroy the tower. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, quick um, thing on that. Um, I will I will order my Zombo Dragonborn to grab the Neranian and drag him to the nearest. Is there any like dilapidated buildings and stuff around us? Like there's a building right next to you. Yeah, I I, I just 
command him. I just say, grab the other one. Drag. <laughs> so the other thing that I was uh, curious about from a per perception perspective is just is, do I see any way to help it? I mean, it presumably we're a long ways away still from the tower. Uh, you are approximately, yeah, like 60 feet away. Oh, this isn't so, too bad. So I could actually potentially put at least a little bit of healing sure. on Sure. Okay. I will, uh, when I get a chance, I will dump. It's your turn. Um, Technically, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start by dumping uh, a second level cure wounds into him. Cure wounds is tough. Good. He's taking 100, da 100 damage. Oh, so it is touch. That's a good point. Oh, I might not have anything ranged. Healing word? Healing I don't word. have healing word I, prepared. Actually, interesting thing on that is, is the, the, the gem that's firing the spells, is it like a big crystal at the top? It's not, it's, yeah, uh, sort of. It's more of just like an orb. I, it's like a big glowing yeah. orb. Is he standing on the orb, like breathing in? Yes, he is. Could I hit the orb without hitting him? Yes. Okay. It's um, big enough. What do I have for that? Anything? Something like shatter would be amazing. That would be amazing. Uh, and I have access to it, oh, but I don't man. have it prepared. <laughs> um, Should I have shatter? Or uh, like a thunder wave or something. Yeah, thunder damage would kick that thing down. Yeah. I'm a fire guy though. I have wall of fire, but that seems. Wrong. I feel like that's probably gonna hit. Yeah, the dragon. that would hit him. Um, I, I got something for this. It, it, by all means, I if mean. The dragon I, come and comes and gets me. Well, I'll do fun. something on my next round if these guys want to okay. do something. I'm, I'm gonna look at okay. my spells for a second. On Eke's turn, um, the dragon kind of looks over. Uh, and it has mostly destroyed the tower. The tower is fizzling and isn't really able to do much else. Um, but he doesn't seem satisfied with that. And he, as he looks over at you, uh, he uses his one legendary action to move his speed over to you and foregoes the bite attack to instead, like, lower his head directly in front of you, purposely missing with his bite. <laughs> you got yourself a mount. I'll jump onto the dragon. And I've got he barely my feels fox it. like refax flexes, so I'll just hang on. Can I real quick while he comes down? Can I hit him with a heal? Uh, sure, you could have okay. ready an action for that. I think that's that's reasonable. I'm fine with that. It's not going to be a good one. Uh, he gets uh, seven. <laughs> All right, <laughs> which is not bloody much. <laughs> Brings him up to thirty-four. <laughs> it's a star. Fly above it, my friend. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I'm uh, going good. back in time <laughs> to Dindar. I need another one of those kegs, please. Oh. <laughs> it's a good thing we discussed oh. the cost of that last 250, night. 250, yes. 250 gold. I will pay 250 and not 25. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> I will pay 250 gold. Love That's the it. the good stuff right there. And Love it. I will pull out... Uh, hold on, this one right here. So for anyone new uh, who's wondering, uh, he has the ability to go back or forward in time uh, to another place to buy an item as though he could buy it from a shop currently. He as has long to as spend I've got the connections to it. As long as you've got the connection to do it and the money to buy it, he can basically go to somebody in his future or his past and, and grab an item as an action. Yeah, so so uh, it's really heavy, right? So yeah, as, as dinner's like, like, okay, I need this for my own supply. Yeah. You will not regret it, Dindar. Foley's still not a dwarf, he says, as he passes the keg through. <laughs> and Eke goes to grab it as we go over top of the uh, the, the orb. Yeah. Eke goes to grab it and he goes, oops, and doesn't grab it as it falls. <laughs> it hits the, hits the orb. It blows the tower up. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's nice. a, there is an explosion that chains down the tower and it crumbles to the ground. And uh, well, if they didn't know you were here before, they know now. Fortunately, I do believe we've turned the tide of battle a little bit. <laughs> well, the dragon is still bleeding profusely. Yes. In fact, Eke, you are going to end up taking four acid damage because you're sitting in acid blood. It's fair. Harsh, but fair. Absorb elements as a reaction. No damage. Nice. All right. I would like to be damaged free this fight. <laughs> <laughs> you absorb the acid spell. blood. Um... Tongues is still active. I don't think it's concentration, right? It's not. Yeah. It just lasts an hour. So I will call out to Parsley, who I've decided is Parsley. I'm sure will, he's going to appreciate that. And I will say, your child flees, and the other will return soon. Perhaps you should vacate the area. This is my lair. Yes, uh... But you are wounded. Perhaps you could let us take some damage for a minute. Another persuasion check. Sure. He's very proud. 
Well, yeah, no, that's as fair. He should but be. not stupid. But Proud right. but not stupid. That's uh, correct. No, that's like a ten. That's okay. Not bad. Well, not well a ten's not terrible. It's tenable. But yeah, no, he, his, his pride is going to win out over. That's fair. Over I, I mean, it's worth a shot. It's tenable. It's tenable. It's tenable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when that guy was banished, how high was he off? Because he's going to come back the exact same. Eighty spot. feet up. He's Eighty feet up. Uh, um, it sounds like Richter desperately wants you to use some of your inspiration. He he asked when you were going to use it. Okay. Batman well, only uses well, it when he wants to turn I the tide. No, I just. I, Richter, it, it, Richter definitely like didn't back. say he wanted you to use yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll use it. So, uh, where does the dragon take me afterward? Uh. Nicely done, little one. Hmm. You are better off this way instead of a snack for now, I think. But we must press on and destroy those who claim dominion over my realm. There are far worse creatures, creatures coming. Your child shall return shortly. I'll hold a chill touch for when that thing appears. You got a bit of time. By the way, we can all understand the dragon right now. Yeah. Oh. Because I cast tongues on it. Yeah. Oh. oh on it. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah. That, yeah. That's smart. Mm-hmm. We seek the fortress further in. Will you join us? I would see it brought to ruin as my ancestor has before me. That sounds good to us. He says, completely dripping acid blood. <laughs> I'd like to dismount. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm... If you land, I can heal you more. Very well, servant. <laughs> Fair enough. We'll just go with this for now. Um, How much time has been going by? Cause uh, I'm going to give you two rounds. I so. was going to say, yeah. Um, how, would I be able to use a first aid on it? Or is that pushing I'll have you take luck? acid damage, but yes. It's fine. I'm actually okay with that, yeah. It's far more effective than most of my heals. Uh, it will gain uh, 11 from that. Okay. And I'll take... You will take four acid damage. Four, Okay. And then uh, I will also drop an additional heal because uh, you said two rounds, right? Yes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drop an additional uh, eight into him. You take another four acid damage. Yeah. Oh no, no. Uh, you should, you it's touch as well. Then yes. So yeah, it's not at the point where it's no longer like profusely bleeding. Fair enough. Figure it. It's stay almost, in the game it's almost a little at longer. half health. <laughs> stay in the game a little longer. <laughs> uh, we will. Destroy my former sire. Yes, but your children will be back momentarily. Perhaps them as well. Yes. Okay. It is unfortunate, but necessary. Yes, I understand. I will and with that, uh, the zombie dragon reappears. Ah! Chill touch! <laughs> Start the veil. <laughs> Does it get a surprise round on us? No. Uh, you knew it was coming. Yeah. That's a. Uh, Fifteen hit. Uh, no. Oh, well. Shit. Okay. Oh, Christmas save? Oh, sorry. Uh, so okay. you're, it's making a Christmas save, right? Yeah, make a Christmas save. Thirteen. Uh, I don't believe that succeeds. I, doubt, I don't think so. So nine. Nine, nine psychic damage. damage. And then I will, uh, I will run off to the side, away from these guys, and hide under a bush or shrub or something. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wise. <laughs> Uh, I'm the work. wisest of all corner masters. That's right. Where does this thing look in the split second like it's about to dive to? 80 feet above you. It's going to dive at... Probably Foley. I was going to say probably. How far is Foley? Yeah. Foley's right next to the dragon. And the dragon's only large size, you said? Yes. yes. I'll run next to them, and I will hit face five. So okay. 15 hmm. feet around me, so the dragon fits and Foley fits. Nothing can come into the barrier. Sounds good. Um, just as a panic button... Peanut. Um, would my Nothing rage have faded? Nothing can leave or come Shit. in. Ooh, I, I can turn it off somewhere. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's just, it's just stopping. Yeah. All right. Well, that sucks. Um. By the time you deal with this dragon, the other one's gonna start coming back. Hey, well. Yeah. No, it should take a little extra time to get back. It will. To he has to well, fly yeah. back yeah. the yeah. exact same time it took him to fly out. Um. I guess I will lob another javelin at him. Sure. I it's guess. 80 feet in the air. Well, Do you want to ready an action yeah, for Yeah, I'll ready it for when he gets close. Gotcha. 
All right. Uh, that takes us to the dragon. It flies down uh, 60 feet. Um, can't see the barrier. <laughs> it Well, it's it invisible. can't do anything to that, and technically uh, you're still out of range. Everybody else is, so I guess it'll dash down and get within 15 feet of uh, Eke and Peanut, or one of the two of them. Let's see. Um, Peanut. Oh, joy. Yay. Okay. And that takes us to Foley. You're within the uh, I am the in cube. the cube. Uh, Nothing can leave it. You can still do things inside of it if you want to keep healing the dragon. Yeah, that is definitely an option. Um, I do not like this imprisonment, mortal. It gives me a few more seconds. I'll release it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I might as well just drop another heal into it. Um, good. No reason not to. <laughs> I'm gonna re-roll that. <laughs> I would like this to be not that. <laughs> There's no point in that even existing. <laughs> All right, there we go. Nine. All right, you take four points of acid, yeah. but at this point, it is no longer bleeding to uh, so profusely that it is going to be damaging. Whoops. We'll, uh, we'll take four damage instead of four healing. There we go. Yeah. Cool. All right, so you have uh, removed the, <clears throat> uh, the horrible bleeding injuries. It's still damaged, but it's not like dripping acid anymore. That seems like a good thing a, for yeah, everyone it's involved. It's much better for everybody. Uh, we're back to Eke. Oh, gosh. Uh, so, Ooh, how, how's uh, the dragon doing? Ray zombie? Is here and he hates the us. zombie has only taken nine oh, damage. Oh, boy. Zombie's only taken what? Nine damage. My nine damage. Yeah. No one else has hit it. Well, I'll, I'll keep, all I've got left is this. All right. So I'll keep drop another 2d6 into him. Five. Racer, we appreciate you. Take four. But also, come on, man. Really? <laughs> Racer. Really? Let's uh, give you four. Pull that. You want to do a poll? I'm, I don't have anything currently from uh, this poll. Devin wants to do a poll of uh, things that would be really great for us to have. Reinforcements now. <laughs> So Two know. more zombie dragons! Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Uh, Hi, Vark. I use an action, I'll press face number six. Okay. Turn off the barrier. I will also then, uh, as it's been quite literally a hot minute, <laughs> I will uh, bonus action reinvigorate the great powers of Shillelagh. Sounds good. Uh, and I will scatter. I will go 30 feet diagonally. In, in a re- direction away from the rest of the party. Yeah. 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 Okay. I will stay equidistant from Eke, the dragon and Foley, but sure. I'll go in a different V. Peanut. You can throw your javelin. Yeah, by the way. throw my javelin at it. And then you can take your turn after that. Uh, javelin. Twenty-one. Yep. The whole five. Five is five. We're chipping this dragon down section by section. Yep. <laughs> And then I'll just, I'll use my axe. I guess I'll do a runny, jumpy thing again with my axe. Sounds good. That's another 21. It. Ooh, nice. Uh, That is 14. 14 damage. damage. All right. Um, and as you slam into it with that first shot, it uh, recharges its breath weapon and breathes on you. Of Make a deck save with does. advantage, please. With advantage? Yep. It's a really good power. It's a really good power. Already roll that one. I've been toying around with some ideas. Retaliatory reaction. Damn it. Good. Uh, We'll do another Keep things one. interesting. Okay, the pole is now up. And Temple dropped three for, Oh, Jesus. Uh, Temple dropped three for Eke, and then Spec hates us. <laughs> wow. we, all, we all know that. Uh, so 13. We'll that. Spec just That's do? enough. He just oh, you take half damage, which is 11 necrotic. A lot. <laughs> Spec just dropped 18 for Devin. 18? What? Holy smokes, I'm yeah. at 20. Yeah. He doesn't get heroic inspiration. But he gets a shit ton of votes. I, I just did one vote. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll like wait till that's done spec. before I do anything we, else. We love the support, and we love you. And I think Devin needs the help right now. You know, honestly. max damage on AoE is a great thing to have, be able to do while I have a dragon on my side. Uh, that's yeah. a fair point. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, spec does like to buy a lot of things for us. <laughs> <laughs> we love you all. Uh, well, if Spec's in there, though, and I think we probably are going to get reinforcements, then he likes that one. 
Yeah, I, I, I will tell you soon. All right. Uh, so, Peanut, you get a second strike. Oh, thank you, Temple. Because that was your first attack, which triggered its breath. <laughs> that is 15 to hit. 15. Are you locking that in? I guess you already did. Yeah. Um, you miss, which activates its tail slash attack. Ah, Please shit. make a dex save with uh, advantage. Uh, it's 18. Okay. You swing, and this time it bats you away, and its tail comes around, and you just manage to avoid that as you hit the ground. Avoid its butt. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. The dragon's gonna go. And at that, it is the dragon's turn. There we go. It recharges its breath weapon, so it's gonna use it. Oh, there's some shit going on. <laughs> I can hear that. Holy oh, cow. What's going on? Has, has, has your boots? Has specs uh, so started to work? What I'm going to do is I am going yes. to... Uh, here's, well, here's the there thing. we go. Well, here's the thing for you, Peanut, though. Uh, because it has been given orders by its master, and its orders are to destroy the dragon. So it's going to move and breathe on that group. Oh, okay. I'm, well, I moved away, so thanks Yes, so much. Foley and the dragon All right, well, then it must both make that. a deck save, and just for extra kicks, I might do something with this. Um, oh, jeez. Oh, no. As soon as Adrian's figured out what the heck's going on. I am currently caught up. I will call them out in just a second. Deck save. Whoa! Oh, my God! Yeah, yeah, deck no, save. Whoa. But, but, but you know what? Thank you! <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> yes! Yes, my broodlings! Give on go. to my power! <laughs> there you go. Gee! Oh, shit! Ah! I know what I'm doing with that. Oh, how Lord. Much, I know what That's I'm doing with that. three of you now. How much damage would you like me to take? I, I, I got a... 14, 14? on my save. That is a, uh, that is a success. Ooh, goody. Oh, my goodness. Okay, uh, hang... <laughs> This is madness. This, this is this, this is, is madness. This is oh, madness. puns are off. Here's well, shit. Mario. <laughs> uh, I think puns are actually on. I think that's a bug. I will I will deal with that in a second. So, twin. Whoa. Yeah, I am going to just, wow. just just for the hell of it. I'm going to spend nine of my inspiration to max the damage on this breath weapon. Hooray! So it's going to deal a total of forty. Yes. But you both succeeded, I think. Right? What did you get, Tyburk? Yes. I, I, I moved away, remember? Oh, that's right. Sorry. The you dragon, dragon, the, dragon, the dragon needs to roll, which I'm going to set to one because why the hell not? This is this is my um, mini game, is just trying to keep up with inspiration. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna call some of these out right now. Right. So, Thank you. So Chad's we, helping out, so i got to join in. So I already <laughs> called it out, uh, but Spec started it with 18 to the DM. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, then Temple came in with four for me. Thank you. Delay came in with one for each of the party. Woo Thank you. Temple came back with another four for Hyvark. And then Gamer took you up to, uh, uh, Gamer gave you each uh, three, you two. Oh. And then uh, Atma came in with two for Peanut. So now. Thank you. So you're taking we 20 have a lot of necrotic damage. Yes, I'm not dead yet. And the dragon's taking the full brunt because I said it saved to one. So it took, took 40. It took 40 necrotic damage, which has not killed it because Foley healed it enough to oh, be able yeah. to withstand that. But it is very badly wounded and uh, is now <laughs> bleeding acid blood again. Richter, yes. So, uh, sorry, Richter, <laughs> I, I missed you the second time through. Yes, Richter dumped the original 10 for Ivark, which took him up. Yes. And what he said was, he said, flavor text me to the max. Oh, so, that triggered his trap because he, he did it in response to spec. I think that's fair, yeah. So he has an inspiration he can yeah, give Yeah, Richter, you can give another one to somebody. You shall see such wondrous things, my friend. Right. I got you, Space Cowboy. It is Foley's turn. Or Space Dust Cowboy. I, my turn. That was me. I gave <laughs> that to you. Thank hitting buttons on the stream deck. Uh, okay, I think I've caught up for the moment. I think uh, people like dragons. You've I am no longer dragons here. everywhere. I am no longer in the Force Cube, right? You can't. I, 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 I turned it off. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. You're also within 15 feet of the Durgan. The little one. Yeah, the it's 15 one. feet in the air. I'm going to turn it off. No, I'm going to hit it with something radiant-ish, probably. Um, puns, puns are off. 
Oh, yeah, I turned them that's, off. That's incorrect. I might be wrong on screen too. If anyone's watching, uh, I turned them off. Hunt, no, I think <laughs> it, it, it was bugged because because there was two there. It should be on. I'll refresh it in just a second. But I did the subs because it helps the hype train. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna hit it with uh, some. I don't have great powerful like. Okay. One hit things. Spiritual weapon uh, is floating. So yep. I'm going to cast yep. spiritual weapon That's as bonus a bonus action. action. And Conjure a hammer. I'm going to uh, hit it yep. with the spectral hammer. That's good. Uh, That's a good smack. I'm going to not hit it, but I'm going to reroll that since I've got. You're actually yeah, a ten. Why that? Victor gave that inspiration not. trap to you. Oh yeah, yeah, sweet. Uh, <laughs> thank you. There you go. So, um, although I just spent, I'm spending one to reroll, so I shouldn't have actually. <laughs> there we go. That's uh, 21. Oh, well, we've got lots bunch of force damage coming. This suddenly feels yeah. like deadliest dungeon. <laughs> yeah, I know, really. Uh, so that'd be uh, eight force. Eight against the little guy. I'm gonna go and refresh puns. So what did I miss? Everything. Yep. <laughs> I went to go help the hype train with my with my account. Gifts with subs, and then I came back and found out right. everything was your, gone. All uh, right, your force hammer slams into it. It staggers for a second in midair. And uh, because it has a very strong fortitude of the undead, it continues to be a threat. Takes us to Eke. Fortitude of the undead, so the dragon is still up in the air? Yes, it is. Okay. But it did take the damage. It took the damage, yeah. and it should have died, but it's a zombie. Oh, no, did they just get turned off again? <laughs> Puns are on. That's a lie. Ooh. Oh, thanks, gamer. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, I will. Oof. I could really do some stuff here now. Twelve. Where's the oh, dragon no. compared to me? Where's everybody compared to me? So Foley is within fifteen feet of the dragon. Oh. Uh, the dragon is in the air. Hyvark is equidistant between Twelve. you and Foley. Peanut is kind of just in the middle of everything, and uh, you are way far away from everybody, about 30 feet back. All right, I will try and blast the dragon again. Okay. With uh, just five. The, what? Five. You will take eight psychic damage. <laughs> Out of existence you go. That'll do it. It's undead fortitude is unable to recover from that level of damage, and it just kind of <laughs> sheds into little ribbons that just kind of fly away with the wind. E What's going on? I keep hearing the bling bling. Sub drops. It's everywhere. I'll, I'll be back. In okay. We're surrounded on all sides. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> it's a rain. So you have about probably another minute before that that other one comes back. Assuming it is coming back. Assuming it's not just gone and done something else. <laughs> so combat has effectively ended. Back to the good songs. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let, let, let Foley catch up here. Foley the man. <laughs> and uh, and just to be clear, the, the big dragon is still alive. <laughs> Managed to survive okay. with 22 health. Racer's throwing more in. All right, so each of us add one more. I'm going to let you do that yourself. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is more fun than playing D&D. &D. Uh, and that was from Temple, that one. <laughs> and, and also, thank you uh, for the dropped subs from Richter and TK. Uh, and Gamer, if I didn't already call it out, thank you for the three for me, one for Eke. And well, then Racer you, gave three more to the DM because he still hates us. <laughs> oh, and Gamer dropped one more for Peanut. Oh, I you. have an idea, but i got to wait. Well, yeah, with that amount of inspiration. I would Jesus. like my zombie, because he lasts for an hour, to drag back out the corpse. I'd like to check the other body of the smushed Naranian. Okay. What are you looking for? Uh, equipment of interest. Well, he does have a um, okay. little um, little rod with a golden crystal at the end of it. I'll take that. Anything else is just like robes and... Well, robes, yeah. Uh, um, the zombie's already in robes. So and a fine. potion. I'll take the potion. Uh, can I tell what color it is? Green. Green? I'll take them both for now. Um, I'll walk up to... Hold on. Hold on. You have a luck of us. Okay. 
Now give me some props for remembering that one. Um, and I'll go, Great dragon. What? You didn't think is this? Have you seen it before? And I will hold up the, the, the gold crystal-ended rod. That is not known to me. Therefore, it should be destroyed. We Wait. Brought to bear against our foes. What is it you hold it up? It's a, uh, like a, like a gold the rod. Crystal, a, a rod with a gold gem with on it. With a gold gem at the end of it. I will go up to it. And I will uh, look at it. And make a history check on it. History? Okay. Ah, it's fate. Uh, 16. 16. Uh, it looks like an implement used to channel energy. We must get this identified. Mana, eventually. most likely. And the dragon doesn't know what it is? No. I'll grab, I'll grab it, but I'll make sure he holds it as well. <laughs> I'm going to try and... Uh, I'm going to try and... Uh, Oh, was that only once? You can ritually cast, can't you? No, it's not a cast. It's a, it's a manipulation. The item thing? I don't yeah. think you've rested since you used it on the brick on the uh, gatehouse. Yeah, I don't think it is a uh, object recall. Is not a. Uh, I think it's once per per rest. Long rest, yeah. I mean, I can get it back, but. You know. All right. Well, I'll I also want to I'll, point out it's. You've probably got company coming. Yeah, we I must retreat figured. to the tunnels. Sorry, I I was busy. Uh, so combat is effectively over. Yeah, uh, the other small <laughs> dragon back. is not coming back. It has not come back. Okay, it should have by now. It has not come back. Okay, so so it's probably gone to prepare for something probably horrible down the line. Somewhere else. Yeah. Okay. We should press forward. Um, just before we leave, uh, did you already talk to the big dragon? About He's kind of communicating with it right now. We're talking to it right now. Okay. Okay. It's bleeding again. Is there anything else that you found? Yes. Yes. I can only do so much. Yeah, fair enough. I have an idea. Hmm, I'm not sure if I should try to save this. I have a, I have an idea for heroic inspiration. Okay. But I don't know if I want to do it right this exact second. But I want to see if it's possible. Um, Hive Ark's knowledge of the dead uh -huh. and his knowledge of raising the fungal zombies of uh -huh. the dead. From this instance and others, he's now heard of dragons befalling the same fate. He wonders how prideful a dragon would be if perhaps offering it immortality might pique its interest. Oh. Not knowing, obviously, the dragon wouldn't bet on the fact, being a proud and ancient creature, that such immortality would come with a couple of shackles to the one who raised it. I'd say it's possible. Pardon me. Dragons do like the idea of it. It's already borderline immortal, so you're gonna, it, it, you have to sell it. But if you can sell it, then it would probably be interested. So, while you're thinking about how to sell the dragon on this, <laughs> we just hit a level five hype train. Wow. Uh, you are all fantastic. Um, and we have so much inspiration. Holy smokes. <laughs> you know what? You I'm, see what you started, I'm Spec? Go for you this. see what you started? I'm gonna look you're at everyone. all amazing. We love you. <laughs> I'll, I'll look at everyone and I just say, whatever is about to happen. Follow our lead. And I will turn to you, Volokopos, and I'll go, Mighty one, yeah. you who were shackled unjustly, you who were trapped beneath the earth against your will, you whose children have been warped by magics untold by time, I can offer you the blessings of earth and rot the eternity that only power can bring. The performance of your children will be nothing compared to the strength you will wield. But there is but one cost. You know of your brethren of old, stripped of flesh and left only with bone and magic, ancient draconic magic. I can grant you thus, if only you but aid us in ripping this fortress to the ground. So, to clarify here. I'm sold. Is this yeah. something you're offering now, but then he must help you? Or is this something you're offering as a reward if he helps? I'm offering this, I'm offering this now with the, basically the intent is I want to raise him as an undead skeletal dragon. Well, I know what you're, I know what you're trying and, to do. And, but he, he will have to know that the plants are not forgiving. 
I command the plants. But I'm not a terrible I'm not a terrible I'm not a master. I am a I am a you want to create a Draco his own Lich. Wrath. You want to make a Draco Lich. I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, is it I make you a Draco Lich now, and then we go do stuff, or is it help us, then I make you a Draco Lich? Definitely do the first it's one. The first option, right? It's more likely it's, to backfire. It's, it's, mm. If you're burning 20 inspiration, I say yeah, that makes sense I would sense like to, to burn 23 to set any possible role of his that might doubt the validity. I don't All think you right. need to spend the extra. Sounds good to me. No, you can't spend the extra. Okay, I'll spend 20. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can I spend, think 20's good. You can spend the 20. I'm not going to make you do a roll for it. You're spending 20 inspiration. Yeah, this gonna is going to work. Oh, sorry, it's four. Holy fuck. <laughs> I'm going to channel all of the power of the Den of the Frost Tunnel. All of the training I've ever had connect straight to the weave of mana coursing through the entire planet. Use the entirety of my power of fungus and rot and mushroom and course it through his very scales and bone till the marrow of his skeleton flows with root and vine. And I wish to summon the great guardian of the hive. <laughs> and then fully turns it. I was gonna <laughs> no, <laughs> so I was gonna say. Oh no, a zombie dragon. Okay. And well, there's, there's, goes. Goes. there's only one thing to say at a time like this. Bore the hive. It uh, succumbs hive. to your will. Uh, to I, create it into this form. Just just to be clear for people wondering in chat, I do not believe that this is going to be a Dracolic Lich under our no. direct control. No, it <laughs> it's is a favor. Uh, it, I am adding the template <laughs> yes. uh, to its current stat block, and he will retain free will. Yes. That is acceptable. <laughs> yeah, I'm not... 20 inspiration is nowhere near enough to give you a CR 17 piece <laughs> no, that you can pet, command. A pet that would be amazing. However, okay. I, would, I would, if possible... Like to like to ride on his neck. Oh yeah, yo, that, yeah, I, that's I fine. That's I'm, gonna, also, I'm also gonna, gonna throw. I'm hey, you can have my Also gonna beef his health <laughs> way the heck up too. <laughs> nice, because obviously his health should be significantly improved at this point. Excellent. Yeah, Richter, I I definitely think you got your flavor text. <laughs> I know, Dobby. That was excellent. Luva si mortis. Fly. Let us bring ruin to our enemies. Does that mean I can't call him Parsi? Probably not. No. Yeah. Parsley for short. Yeah. Parsley. Yeah, I have a short There are more plants with you now. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I feel the invigorating might of the hive. <laughs> yes. Let us lay waste to those who dare oppose us. This way, friends. Oh. <laughs> well. Should we tell the Cybel what's going on? <laughs> I will leave that one up to you, Master Hembeard. <laughs> As we take off in whatever direction we're going, I'll, I'll fill in Cybel uh, in the classic Foley way. Cybel, uh, uh, we appear to have found one of the time dragons, or, or created one, that is, and... Uh, what? Uh, what? Well, uh, the Hivark, you know the Hivark, he, he did things. Oh, and, the creepy eyes. And, uh, <laughs> yes. Just in the background. Just <laughs> 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 the background. And it's like, why do I hear buzzing? <laughs> and he, he did things, and Play then the Valkyrie Eke is starts here. Playing. <laughs> you, you know Eke, you two are good friends, and well, so things happened, and I believe we now have a time dragon. And we're going to go, and, and the tower's destroyed, and, and I just go on like that for sure, about a minute. For the, okay. <laughs> Where are you flying to? <laughs> I think we can fortress. retcon our previous game where we went to the future. Instead of riding atop a giant insect, he was totally riding a dragon. Definitely. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Where are you taking it? Let's go, let's go to that fortress. To the we fortress? The stronghold? Yeah. I think that's the right way to do it. All right. Us plebs will walk on foot, I guess. <laughs> are you, well, you're riding the Draco Lich, I assume, right? Uh, if we can, yeah, sure. I, guess I think we could... Convincibly put all four of you on. Egg yeah. is really short. Foley is uh, is doesn't take up too much space. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with a cleric riding a Dracolich, right? Nah, it's fine. <laughs> if you turn it, it goes real fast. That's <laughs> 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 if I stand at the tail. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, warp nine, Foley. Engage. 
Oh, <laughs> I mean, to be honest, being a Draco Lich does not give it resistance to turning. It so, <laughs> which is weird, but which is strange. But you know what? It's cool. That's fine. <laughs> Great. That's a twenty well spent. I'm happy. I'm that happy. was amazing. That was Everything that just happened. That's how you use a twenty. That's I, how you use your twenty. I uh, need to check on what the actual. Here, I'm gonna refresh here because I gotta check on what the actual poll result was. Oh yeah, I might need that now. Yeah, um, it. I believe the combat had wrapped up prior to it. So, but you. Oh come on, man. Oh, I'm sure there'll be more combat. Oh yeah. <laughs> Plus, so, there's the little dragon. You take off. Are you keeping low to the ground, or are you going up a bit higher? Do we want to hook up with Cyber before we attack? What are we attacking? Yeah, we don't know anything. We need to find out what is within this fortress. Sorry, this tower wasn't the thing we were aiming for. It was a. Pro it was in the way. The strong. You can actually, as you get on the dragon and kind of go up a little bit, you can see the stronghold to the east, uh, not that far away. Um, I... Between you and the stronghold, there is what appears to be a large ruined building, uh, reminiscent of a barracks, uh, and behind it, swathed in flora, you can make out a massive stone stronghold, which is um, surrounded by a... Uh, it's half hidden behind the marsh. I believe. Oh, well, okay, that's good. That's fine. <laughs> half hidden by the marsh. Between you and the stronghold is a fog-shrouded ravine, at least 20 feet across. The walls stand 40 feet high, and huge narrow towers of stone loom upward. Wisps of fog hide much of the stronghold's detail, but you can see two large figures standing on either side of the enormous raised drawbridge. So there's a large barracks-like building, um, what looks to be a field, uh, a clearing, uh, which looks to be filled with corpses. And then a giant trench. <laughs> Corpses, you And then a stronghold. The walls are 40 feet high. You've a lock of us. What do you know of these fortifications we see? Mm, I can fly over it. I the recommend. The insects who claim this place theirs reside within. They are no doubt mobilizing their forces. Now. I recommend a rest. Yeah. We must take time to rethink our strategies. This would be wise. We have a protected guardian now. We have a guardian now that can watch us while we rest. If they're amicable, you will need to be, as we all must, at full strength to wipe them from the I space. can take them on myself if need be. That may be so. But how good would your victory feel, battered and broken? You should be lord of this place. Ineffable and powerful. Regal as you break down the doors with your maw. Not sinking from your prison. You are the lord here, not the prisoner. Let us regroup and then destroy them. Very well, I will acquiesce for now. We should Where contact shall Cyber. I take you? We should contact Cyber, regroup, and then all of Wait, us strike. Uh, where should it take us? Uh, that's a great question. Back to the tunnel we can go to, because in that one cave, the Draculids can guard us now. Uh, I mean, the, 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 I don't think no longer needs to, to eat, sleep, or breathe, so... I don't know if it's going to want to go back Probably there. Not gonna back there. Watch, we, 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 we didn't get too far in the air. Um, the, so is it, it was a fissure? Well, filled so the there's corpses. a barracks. Yeah. A clearing filled with corpses. A huge ravine. And then the stronghold. We go into the ravine. It would be awkward sight. to fly in. You'd have to, like, fly up over the canopy and then, like, dive back down in again. It's we so could try the ravine. Why don't we try the corpse pile? <clears throat> is it a pile or just a field? It's, it's I a think that that tunnel like is the best place. I, we can ask. It's the most mm -hmm. fortified. It, it would be, it be and common. most of the general threat of that area. How is, would you is feel about returning to the place that we met you in in the tunnel? It is defensible. I understand your hesitation. Yeah, I wish to destroy the contraptions beneath. Wonderful. Well, then perhaps we should go there. So be it. Very well. And he 
dives <laughs> down through the giant hole he made that he can fit through. Yeah. Lands at the bottom and just starts ripping the cables, the cords, the tubes, the hole, just all of that. While he's doing that, I'll ritual alarm around the openings. Very well. Uh, will we be able to get a long rest while he's destroying it? You can give it a shot. <laughs> That's a no. I am so out of spell slots. Not completely, actually. Five is your call. We're taking a long rest. Yeah. In, the, in this left. room, or did you want to go into a tunnel? We'll go yeah. a little bit into one of the tunnels, I think. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Roll a d4, please. A d4. To determine which, which way you're going. Tunnel. All right, but I want you to know that I'm going to roll a three. <laughs> I rolled a two. Okay. Close. Close, man. You're close. You move down into the tunnel, uh, and after a little bit of time, you come across where, like, there's sort of this, the piping just kind of goes up into the ceiling, hmm. and there's a sort of a dead end. I think this would be a good place to yeah. pull up because there's only one way in. Seems like a good idea. Um, the piping now, I'm fairly confident that it's uh, empty of acid at this point. Yeah. I'm going to smash it. Just, okay. Just, That's not a problem. You have an adamantine warhammer. Yeah, just just, just to like help the dragon out. Yeah. <laughs> that was a happy roar, right? Or at yeah. least like a... Yeah. yeah. Well, that was a glee. Ivark looks exhausted, by the way. He like kind of like leans into a corner and then you see kind of flashes and transforms into a... Uh, like a sizable scorpion and just kind of crawls okay. half up the wall and just stays there. You settle down and uh, prepare to get a much, much desired rest, um, which you do get. Before we rest. Okay. I was going to say this was risky, but you already said we got the rest, so it's not well, so risky so I, now. I, yeah, mechanically, you've got it, but some stuff will happen. Well, hang on. Because before we rest. Okay. And this could fuck us, and I'm okay with that. Okay. Because I recognize that this was a, a pivotal moment for Hyvark, I'm going to use a, a fabricate, which takes 10 minutes, and I'm going to make a small, two small metal figurines, one of the dragon, Dracolich, and one of Hyvark, and I will give the Dracolich one to Hyvark, and I'm going to give the Hyvark one to the dragon. Okay. To, to commemorate their, their bond. Okay. And that burns a fourth level spell slot, just so we're clear. Ah, you're going to get it back. <laughs> Scorpion I wasn't sure that we were yeah, going to do what I... So, slides down the wall. <laughs> a couple hours pass. The dragon is clearly berating things, and you do hear the sound of combat. Hmm. Is it sad, though? Uh, well, it sounds more like spells are being flung, and uh, oh, well, she can't there's cast blasts spells. of energy, <laughs> and uh, the roar of the dragon. Oh. Bar dragon? Yeah. It's clearly protecting you. I see. Oh. Aww. Does it sound like it's winning? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were not expecting a Dracolich. <laughs> they were expecting a very wounded oh, dragon. Yeah. <laughs> it's not surprising. <laughs> I'm describing to you your dreams, not nightmares. Um, about halfway through the night, you do start to hear like a, hello? Out of the sea, the stone. Oh, hey, listen. Um, hey, if hey. I respond, is it going to screw up my long rest? No. Okay, then I will. It's minimal. It's minimal. Hello, Cybul. Did you find our time dragon? Um, I think I can hear it. That's yes. uh, quite substantial. But uh, we did find a way in in the underground tunnels, but we can't seem to pass through it. There's some sort of have you, barrier. Have you tried walking in... Oh, oh a barrier. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Some sort of, it on or off again. <laughs> some sort of barrier that is blocked to us, but you might be able to do something about it, Foley. Unless you have some other way in. Uh, well, uh, I do have Eke here, the wisest of all chronomancers. He's he can, <laughs> that doesn't matter. Do I recognize what she's talking about at all? She's talking about some kind of probably a magical barrier that is... You, your first thing that you think of is maybe it's one of them dwarven doors. Oh. It might not be, but that's the first thing okay. that you think of. Something okay. that she, uh, her and, and y y uh, okay. or uh, Yuliton clearly uh, cannot get through. Real quick, because I haven't called these out. Uh, Gamer gave two more to the Hive Arc because of your awesome uh, whole, the yeah, that was whole fantastic. Yeah. Dracolich situation. And uh, uh, Chad I, on, gave on you the list one of more. things yeah, I was expecting to happen point. today. Suck up. That was at negative 30. <laughs> yeah. No, that's. Um, <laughs> Well, I that's... came up with that on the spot. I don't know. Where... No, that's fantastic. Uh, okay, so um, 
like is this something that I'm going to be able to like talk her through over the phone or is this going to need a house call? Um, are you able to stay put for a few hours? We I have a I don't think that should be a problem. There doesn't appear to be anyone here. Okay. Well, we we are having a nap and the and the dragon, the time dragon, I think is also having he's not having a nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You may he's hear having, him. He's having you a hear, snack. You hear some horrible screams and what sounds like sizzling flesh. Oh, God, my leg! I, I, I believe he's enjoying himself. Uh, and uh, so we will come and get you in, in a few hours. Oh, that would be wonderful, Foley. You're so helpful. I love it. Yes, well, it, you can thank Ake when you see him next. Oh, I certainly will. <laughs> You're asleep. You don't get no. to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm convinced that, just to be clear, I am 100% convinced that Cybel, like, thinks of Eke the same as Foley thinks of Eke. <laughs> um, and with that, you return to your slumber. Yes. And, and uh, you fall asleep to the soothing sound of the dragon burning many, many enemies. That is acid. a soothing sound. I love it. Are they doing classic like Hollywood, like go in one at a time and just get? <laughs> it's well, they sent a team out to finish off the dragon, <laughs> and that team uh-huh. is not going to come back after about an hour, so they're going to recalibrate. <laughs> yes, yeah. When we wake up, uh, I will check in with both the dragon and Cybel. Is it dawn by any chance? When I think it's probably early morning. Yeah. <gasps> Well, he that rolled was a, a 12. 12 charges, baby! Oh, I see. Here we the, go! The, the uh, so you return to the room, the, yes. the large area where the dragon was. There are a lot of piles of acid and little bits of bone kind of floating around. Uh, the dragon's not here. Oh, he is. Undead after me. <laughs> are, are you okay? He looks I, down. I assume There's a you huge are. chunk of his side <laughs> is just gone. Ooh. I do not feel pain. Yes, good. Yes, it is working. I am not hampered in any way. He has taken some damage. Okay. Okay. So, so does he like have mushrooms and stuff I, growing just, out of him now? Just so yeah, like would... ever so often, but like, like like his little like spots of different different like genuses of mushrooms come kind of across some of his bones. Just so everyone's super clear, uh, before uh, Foley was like, uh, we freed him, so like it's okay if he dies. I'm now at the like, I am perfectly okay with he dies. I'm not going to tell him this, but it's not gonna weigh on me if he does end up dying. I don't blame you. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite all right. Um, I will check in with Cybel then. Hello, uh, you are still waiting at the force field? Yes, uh, we are still here if you need us. We you? are unable to progress unless you have another way in. Well, uh, I don't know where you are, so. Uh, we are, if, as far as I'm aware, right beneath the uh, entrance to the stronghold. I took a look around, and the tunnel we're in connects out into the ravine. Oh, I see. We do know where that is. Perfect. Okay. Uh, would you like us to meet you at the ravine? If you don't mind, that would be spectacular. I will run it up the flagpole. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, it, yeah. I'll... Toodaloo! <laughs> <laughs> and I, I look at it as though I'm, I'm supposed to hang it the, up. Well, the rune fades. No, I, but I, I, I don't yeah, understand yeah, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. And then I just kind of like <laughs> put it away. <laughs> so, hi, Vark. What if I was to eat one of the mushrooms? Oh. Well, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I've never quite tried myself. I just see them as extensions of nature's wrath. So we got that long rest, eh? Yes. Perhaps it would be good with peanut butter. Ooh, maybe. Mushrooms and peanut butter. <laughs> also, you I've all never see had mushrooms and peanut butter. <laughs> I don't you know all what see that outside would taste the cave, like. The the uh, growing against the wall is the corpse of the of the of the dragonborn still in his robes, but he's now attached to the wall by like growing or like mushrooms and like. Yeah. Oh right, that doesn't last very long, does it? <laughs> oh well. And there's still the now rotting body of the Neranian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. He's food. <clears throat> I, don't, I mean, if you had resurrected him, I was going to make him a boneless because he's like shattered every bone in his body. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, no one wants that. Cybul uh. has requested our presence at the ravine, if that's amenable to everybody. After your, snack, so be it. after your snack of peanut butter and mushrooms. 
I do kind of want to try one of these. You just mushrooms. carry like a little jar of peanut butter with you at all times. <laughs> I'm just I would, I would happily try one with you. Okay, we'll spread I some peanut butter. We'll, we'll both have a mushroom with peanut butter on it. How dead are we? Yeah. I mean, oh, I mean, you know, I'm, they're, 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 they're mushrooms. They're mushrooms that animate the dead, right? Yeah. They're, they are, they're, they are natural. They're, they are magical. Wow. Well, well they are natural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like Magic <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> 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 like they are mushrooms crafted from spells of druids. So that's that's how we'll work. They are magic mushrooms, <laughs> eh? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Well, I'm let me arc. go ahead and and make a roll on the um, the no. magic mushrooms table <laughs> on the giant <laughs> table of awful. If uh, if you, if anybody who's imbibed would like to roll a d10, I'm eating that. I would. Do that. <laughs> I told them. I would love to roll a d10. I told them. I, I got a ten. You got a ten. I got a three. That kid does not eat one. Magical mist pours out of Foley's eyes and ears um, <laughs> as a fog cloud. Uh, and that's going to be happening for a while. <laughs> ah, yes, good Foley. Cloud cover. <laughs> Everything appears to have become very misty. Speaks, just clouds just keep billowing out of his mouth. It's like one of those old 80s films where the pipe is just on the side of so the So you're going to be uh, exhaling fog cloud for an hour. <laughs> what it. happens if you have gas, too, I wonder? Oh, well, it's, uh, <laughs> it's probably coming out of the yeah, Stinking three. cloud. A three. Oh, a uh, you're, you're healed. But you're already at full health, so <laughs> I get missed up and you get healed. I work seven more. Happen. I've been doing this more often. Uh, gamer, uh, I gamer. mean, there are some bad parts. There are some bad ones in there gamer too. Gamer went ahead and give you another four to put you up to twenty. Oh my god! <laughs> that was, oh, because she's classic. the only one without heroic inspiration oh, to this I, point. Yeah. I mean, I can't I'm just gonna slowly climb up on you, Valak. Must be like, right? We should get going now. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you wanting to go through the tunnels, or are you gonna fly up and out and down into the ravine? Uh, you could just do that. But I see no particular reason well, to. One is not. a lot more quiet than the other one. Yeah. If I mean, sure, they they already know where we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I'm I'm whatever. I'm good. I will just start like blowing, trying to blow like mist circles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're casting fog cloud on yourself for an hour. So oh, enjoy it's fantastic. that. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everything is heavily obscured everywhere, always, all the time. Can um, I still see where I'm ever going? Just, ever just as long as you keep moving. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just keep moving quickly. Just don't stand still for very long. <laughs> Suddenly, Foley is like Cheech and Chong, and one just sitting there, hey man, Dave's not here. Right? Right? Old, old school. The hive ice fog the, machine. Is, oh. The hive's not here. I believe I should avoid confined areas. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you taking the Draculich, or are you walking through the tunnels? Um, let's go through the tunnels. We'll, I mean, we'll still take the Draculich, but like, find out what this door is, yeah. and then we can let's do it. Fly up. All right, let's do we it. We try a couple different directions. I'll go to dead ends until you figure out. Okay, this is clearly the way we want to go. Right. You head down through that way for um, just a little, several feet, uh, several several tens of feet, and then you start to see it open up ahead, and as you get to the end, you find yourself sticking out about 20 feet above the bottom of the ravine, which is also full of mist, incidentally. Hmm. On the other side is a continuation of a tunnel, and you see a very short person and a taller person waving at you. I will I will wave back. I will say, hello. We, oh, hello. We brought hello. friends. We brought friends. Is, is the dragon with us? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those two are with us. We believe that to be the case. <laughs> <laughs> If they were to cross us, though, you would, and, well, actually, I'm going to whisper this just to be clear, <laughs> given what you just, uh, if they were to cross us, uh, you would do well to eat them, though. No Again, whispering. <laughs> um, and then I'll, I'll... You're going to have to get across the ravine. Yeah, what, uh, describe, like... So, it's, um, approximately... Twenty feet across. Okay. And twenty feet down okay. is the floor, and then twenty feet up on the other side is the tunnel. So you have to cross a twenty. So they're foot more down. or less straight across. From they're us? directly straight across. Okay. Um, You're guessing is at some point those those were connected. I'm going to attempt to t 
toss a... Well, is there any point in tossing a rope over, or should we just do this? I mean, the dragon could just take us back and forth. Yeah, yeah dragon can yeah, literally sure. fly you across the ravine. Yeah, yeah. I'll fall across the solves all. Play it so safe, fly across. If you, you want to just, yeah. you know, fly your way through all the problems and... Sure, uh, why don't we just use our... Challenges. Our Draco Lich <laughs> <slave. laughs> Yeah, sure. Uh, rather than beleaguer getting across the cavern, let's... Yeah, sure. Okay. So you fly across the 20-foot 20, <laughs> 20 wide... Now, it drops you off, and, uh, and a light goes. wind howls through the, the ravine and kind of moans through the tunnel entrance as you enter in, where okay. you can cool. see uh, Seibel and uh, Uliatin. Uliatin is just as awful and smelling as, as he was the first time yeah. you saw him. I uh, feel like that was foreshadowing. A solid arch of ancient stone sits within the uh, end of this sort of tunnel, um, just mostly collapsed little cavern. Within the arch is an opaque glowing energy barrier, stoic metal orc statues flanking on either side. Orcs? Written into the archway is something in orcish, also crimerish, if anybody speaks crimerish. Oh, I do. I do. I do. Okay. Blood of Aelbon freely given shall reveal the pathway hidden. Weaken yourself upon the key for safe passage granted to thee. Blood of Elbon. Blood of the old. I'm going to... What does that mean? Mm. So you see, we can't pass through the barrier. Yes. It won't let us through. I understand. Um, Seems to be some sort of requirement. I want to do two things, but I don't want to hog the party here. Um, so the first thing I will do is just use stone cunning. So I'm going to do a history check. Okay. Ah, yes. Um, so, oh, geez, that'd be a 25. So I'll give you this. I don't personally believe that orcs could actually make this stone. <laughs> you can so. believe whatever you want. <laughs> uh, this stone is, uh, it's crude. It's, it's functional. But oh, okay. Okay. I will give you something because you would know this. The, when you have an archway made of stone, there is a, a specific part of it known as the keystone, yes. which is the part at the, at the top, which you believe weaken yourself upon the key, may be referring to the keystone, which is about 10 feet up the top of the arch. What is uh, this blood of Ailbon? Blood of Ailbon. Peanuts. That would be Eke or uh, possibly Peanuts area. Yeah. Peanut, uh, this is again. I I think I know what's yeah, going yeah, on yeah. here, but Foley's a, a bit of a dumbass. Uh, <laughs> Peanut, uh, I believe. I believe what this is saying is that if you just reach up on top of the keystone, there will be a key there. Oh, oh, okay. Check that. <laughs> it's just stone. It means no. that one of old blood must bleed on this. What is uh, old blood? I in understand. This case? Uh, d dragon, dragon, uh, how old are you? Hey, well, you don't just ask someone their age. That's very rude. <laughs> that is very rude, Foley. Jeez. I, I'm so sorry. I, I. If you must know, I'm 175. He also lacks blood. Yeah, that's yeah. He does kind of lack blood now. Can I figure out what age of Aelbon is when? The age of Aelbon was before the veil, so this would be Primordian. None of us have that. Yeah, I was just going to say, based on the context of it, would it, can I figure oh. out whether it means someone that's, like, actually old or of ancient heritage? Of ancient heritage, heritage is what you think it would be. Okay. One of you I'll just cut my hand and just wipe it on the keystone. All right. You As you do that, did, you, did okay. you find a sharp key up there? It was, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yeah, you do that, and uh, then what? Uh, you have to roll a hit die to take damage. I will speak, friend, and enter. <laughs> so roll one of your hit dice. Oh, okay. You're not actually expending it. Three. You take three damage. Okay. As you touch the keystone, there's a slight glow of uh, a dust-covered rune that begins to, to flash up. And you can now kind of see through this opaque force barrier, and you can see a tunnel beyond it. But only you can see that. Only I can see it? Wow. So with keeping my, my bloodied hand on there, I'll stick my other hand to see Goes if I can... through. Can anyone else go through? I will immediately, without hesitation, walk through. 
par for the course. Really. Ow! Uh, n- n- no, I cannot. You are of old blood, Foley. Your blood will allow you to pass through. Do the same as the Neranian. Interesting. The problem is, we are not of old blood. I'll take my hand off. Take some of mine and try. Oh, that's interesting. (laughs) Yeah, luck roll. Oh. No. The old adage is, no matter what you think of, players will throw you for a loop. (laughs) Uh, my luck is not allowing. All right, it does not work. Perhaps if I were to just hit it. Uh, I guess you could try. You can add a minute warhammer. I might <laughs> collapse. I'm just going to smack the key still. <laughs> or uh, smack the unless Hyvark wants to stop him. No, no, no. no you, okay. you can get through with your blood. Yeah, I, I, that's I might that's be fair. able to have a way for all of us to get through, but someone will have to walk through first. I must be ready. I need to see the room. Yeah, Hyvark's really good. He, he's uh, he's able to get us to do a lot of things. He was able to help me uh, get rid of that bastard. That's from Simon. Yes, yeah, he also resurrects. Druids are quite useful yet. He if also I'm resurrects really time dragons. Well and true. Very well, and I'll, I'll nice dragon. <laughs> uh, lacking anything to like poke myself with, I'll just like bite one of my fingers <laughs> really <laughs> hard. Meanwhile, I have so many sharp things on me right now. <laughs> I mean, little dwarf tooth. Remember what I said about Foley being a bit of a dumbass? Yeah. I will take four damage. Okay. Uh, and then I will. And as you shed blood, you can now see blood. through this opaque, this opaque Does force the barrier becomes transparent. Very well. Yes. And, and as the uh, rune shows up, I cast a spell magic on the rune. I mean, you could have just tried that with the door, too. No, I, want, I want to see the activator first. All yeah. right, fine. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow that. Are we just fucking your entire day up There here? was a way through, but this will work, too. This is fine. Uh, yeah, you dispel the rune as it uh, alights, which forces it to remain in the position that it's in. And uh, the barrier just... Fades away, revealing a passageway. This time, Ashante. this time, despite the barrier being clearly gone, Foley is going to very carefully walk, like <laughs> just like. <laughs> also, as you cast a spell magic, the two statues crumble to dust. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Well, nothing to see here, friends. We just keep going. Everything's fine now. <laughs> Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> he just walks through. Uh, let's, yeah. let's go, you fellow <laughs> Uh Can the dragon fit through here? Uh, no. <laughs> um, I will say... Uh, just I mean, that's all right. We can go through this way if you want to go Sado, the other way. Uh, if you would, just hand me your stone for a second. Why? Uh, no reason. I just need to take a look at it. I'm ge- wait, 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 is this, what is I'm going to chuck it out to the dragon. Okay, then you need to give me a deception check. Uh, no, I'm just going to tell her. I'm going to chuck it out to the dragon. Oh, okay. We could literally oh, see I, him I, you, You're coming with us, then? We will come with you, if you would like, but the dragon, it would be useful to be able to communicate I with it. I see no reason not to do this, yeah. Excellent. Uh, I'll just chuck my stone out. Sure. <laughs> Follow us above. We will pincer them above and below. He uh, sticks it into his rib cage. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of vines just... Yeah, just wrap around it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I figured some communication wouldn't go amiss. All right, let's 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 carry on. you up top. I man. will rain destruction. We yes, will good. We will grow it from the roots we'll while you that. rain it from above. How was that, Hyvark? Actually quite acceptable, yes. Oh, excellent. <laughs> excellent. <laughs> All right, we're going to... All right. Carry on. Uh, the druid theoretically knows where he's going, assuming they're not leading us into a trap. I mean, there's a tunnel. Yeah. There's only one way you can go. Uh, all right. You follow down through the tunnel, and eventually, after it, it weaves a little bit, it turns, it rotates ever so slightly, and you come to where it rises up in a straight vertical shaft. That'll be the way in, I imagine. Up. Straight. Yeah, some kind of door this we're was. Below, we're below the, uh... The, uh... 
Stronghold? Most power. likely. Yeah. yeah. Based on geo ge ge like geometric thing, you're pretty sure you are a fair ways in. Fun. There is a little bit of light coming out the top, though. Is it dripping with acid? No. Does it look like it's the tower that the dragon destroyed? No. Oh. It, it's a lot more narrow. Um, perception? Sure. Uh, it's a 18. What do I think this is? You think it is the bottom of a well. Oh, or well, a false well. well. Oh, a secret well. tunnel. Secret the tunnel! Secret tunnel! Through the mountain? <laughs> uh, secret tunnel into... Into most likely somewhere within the... It seems to go outside, but probably beyond the walls of the stronghold. I will... Out... Inside the walls. Yes. I will relay that information. This, this appears to be a secret entrance inside of the walls. It might be worth checking out. Good. Allow me to look. I'm gonna climb my way up. So you peek out. And you see a couple of things. The first thing you notice is that towards the... You can see where you would have come in. You can see large doors that would lead out to where the ravine is. You can see a heavy iron portcullis drawn up behind a drawbridge and two giant suits of armor standing behind the portcullis facing each other within the covered gateway. Oh, good. Uh, which you didn't have to deal with because you didn't go that way. Uh, you can also see gate, uh, gate towers on either side. Uh, and you do see uh, some movement around on top. And by movement, I mean wind knocking against what are most likely uh, very rigid standing still soldiers. Mm -hmm. uh, that's on one side. You seem to be in uh, surrounded by overgrown walls enclosing a courtyard. Doors of sculpted stone fitted with iron hinges lead to a couple of different outbuildings. And there's a main keep very close to you on your right side. Several armored figures with gleaming swords stand in formation around the area. And in the center, it, facing away from you, is... A dragon zombie. Ah, the one that got away. Oh. The one that got away. There appear to be approximately 10 undead soldiers marked in various phalanx formations on either side of the... This seems to be an army is gathering. Hmm. Well, we we don't know that's there yet, so... Yeah, now, that's what he sees as he peeks yeah. out. But there is a keep door to the right as well. And no other ways... I well, there's walls. Yeah. The tunnel that we're in continues going, though. Uh, it stops here. Oh, it does stop. Yeah, okay. it stops here. So this is this is this the is the secret. This is a secret way in, yeah. or out. Secret tunnel. Okay. Uh, and realistically, only those of the uh, certain yeah heritage should be able to gain access. I will whisper very quietly to Eke, just because uh, I figure it'll reverb. What do you see? See invisibility. Okay. What else is there? There is an orb floating above the courtyard. A little gray, sort of blurry orb. If you want to make an arcana check. Yeah, I really do. <laughs> I would love to. I really would love to make one of those. I'd love it to be exactly the roll I rolled. Um, 25. 25? Ooh, that's not bad. That is a uh, scrying orb. Someone Figured. is scrying the courtyard. And normally you can't tell when someone is scrying, but with seeing visibility, you can see their, basically Sensor, their right. eye. Somebody's watching the courtyard. Somebody's watching this courtyard with the scry spell. Hmm. Bet that's the, again, we're not As there, the undead are forming I'm into their formations. I'm gonna bet that's our necromancer. Oh, like those orbs back in our game where you yeah. played Valor and that, those little sliding orbs? Kind of like that, yeah. Oh. oh. It's basically a disembodied eyeball. They can see invisible too, can't they? Yeah, Depends I, on what level they're uh, they're using it at. In this go, case, we're gonna go probably. With yes. we're, gonna, we're gonna go with <laughs> <Yeah>. yes. <laughs> yeah. It's better to assume the the, the yeah. one than the other, right? Given the uh, sheer power that we've seen from this <laughs> entity, I think it's safe to say. Now, it doesn't necessarily see the entire courtyard, right? But it has the ability to. Yeah, it, basically, the person controlling it can see through. It's the an, orb. it's as if it's an eye, yeah. so they'd have to move where they're looking. 
and you won't really be able to tell what they're doing with that. It's kind of like those yeah, um, those uh, like cameras, those uh, half half circle dome cameras. Am I oh, still missing? Yeah. Hmm? Am I still missing? It lasts for an hour. Okay, so probably so you are. You've started to fill up this area here now with mist. I can't see anything here. I'll <laughs> cast <laughs> 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 dancing lights. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I'll climb back, back down. Home, runner. I'll uh, come back down. You come back down. It's down. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. The, good, the good stuff. My apologies. This is the army that we have feared is amassing. In addition, there are other defenses, such as using the weave and the veil to see others by scrying. Orbs from people at a distance can see what maneuvers we make. It will be very difficult for us to stealth into this place. And the forces are quite heavy. Then uh, might I recommend a frontal assault, so to speak? Perhaps your friend, the new Queen of the Hive, <laughs> the Guardian, yes. could serve as a magnet. <coughs> One second. Hive Art. Hive Pick him up. Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna gag him and blindfold him. <laughs> I, I don't notice the difference. <laughs> no, you don't really. If it was Marari, he'd just be gusting and all of them on the hallway. Perhaps. What's, what's the name of the dragon? Evil Octopus. Evil, evil Octopus. Oh, no. <laughs> Perhaps Evil Octopus. Oh, goddamn. Don't go on. <laughs> could act as a magnet to draw them from the courtyard. <laughs> His size and stature alone will do that, yes. It is a risk, but it will let us get through. We will need to pay. They would also be expecting that. I can banish the little one again. I would save that for something. Whatever controls this place should to be dealt with quickly. Well, for fuck's sake, I hope there's nothing bigger than that up there. <laughs> Did you say for fuck's sake? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they should be expecting... Something. An assault of some sort. All of their scouts have been destroyed. Something else I think Eke would know is that if they can have the power to divinate like that, and they're not using it on you, they don't know it's you. Because well, I'm not detectable. Could, you're not detectable, but that's what I mean. So they obviously are unaware of the other three, or Cybel, or uh, Uliatin, or anybody else, unless Cybel's also using non-detection. But Well, I got the amulet. Yeah, you have an amulet. So the point is, they, they could be, if they knew you were here, they could be using it on you, but since they're not, that tells you at least that they're not aware Before of what I you're forget, it. does anyone here have the ability to cast the identification spell? I can. Cybel also raises her hand. I will, oh, I will hand the potion to Cybel and the, the wand to you and go, we might want to figure out what these are. A ritual. Yeah, we'll, I guess we'll, they'll, they'll both ritual it. <coughs> I'm going to ritual something irrelevant just to be part of the club. Foley, do you mind maybe going down that way for a little bit? Yeah, I'm going to ritual smoke something. <laughs> smoke 10 feet from all entrances, man. I'm, I'm going to ritual <laughs> something heavily verbal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the potion is a potion of acid resistance. Oh, of course they'd have that. Okay. No, I mean, it makes sense. I don't yeah. know. This, is, this will protect you from any acid that may still linger. The they rod is a sunfire rod. What's that do? Uh, it shoots um, solar beams, but it has to charge from the sun. Is it charged currently? Yeah. How many charges are on it? Six. Hmm. A solar beam meaning. Does anybody does, need does, that or does it cast a certain it? spell or it just shoots uh, beams. Is it beams of sunlight? Radiant or radiant, yeah. I mean on the one hand I'm a radiant dude, on the other hand I can already kinda do that, so one of you might as well. You're always combat worthy, so mm -hmm. I'm the one that seems to run out of things, so Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I think you're good keep to keep it. Wand. Yeah. Um Not you can take the I, Foley's ready to rock here. I'm ready to just get up there and, and Well, let's get the Dracolich to go and draw them away. Well, yeah, but we should be as close as possible to the top of the well, because I assume the well is fairly deep, or no? 
Yeah, it's about uh, 40 feet. Yeah, so like it's so, going to take us a minute to climb up. I believe the truck Well, take it two rounds or dashing. On this way. But if you're all doing it, it's you're all going to have to. Yeah, it, it's going to take a minute. It's going to take a minute. At least I will position myself near the top of the well. Sure. I will take whatever time. And then I will uh, probably whisper down to uh, Seibel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll send smoke signals down. Just by... <laughs> Uh, and I will say, I'll be I'll, sad I'll, when this wears off. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell these uh, these uh, punks to uh, call in the the cavalry, the airstrike. Okay, well you can do that. You have a sending star, or a, uh, whatever. A yeah, I think Sybil has stone. hers, and I give it yeah. mine. So, and I'm ready to go. As soon as I hear the roar, shall we all charge in, or should you go in one way and we'll go in another way? Well, beware of the front gates. We're not going to go to the front gates. Then do but, what you uh, will. All right. I think it might be better if we don't travel in a large group. Keep them That's good to our position. Yes. Exactly. Especially if they have the ability to divinate. If they see if they see one of if they see our group, we are all screwed. If they find only one of our groups, they still cannot divinate on the other one. Well, they surely won't live long enough to bother. But fair enough. I'm whispering all of this, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I just, Fellow for viewers' sake. For sure, yeah. If you have the power to drop from the skies the bolts of nature's wrath, that might be a good distraction. Mm. I would rather conserve my energy if we truly need it, but I will consider. Oh, these if guys the are so going to turn on us. Oh, my God. I, I just, I know you're a sadistic bastard. <laughs> They fit nothing but helpful. <laughs> That's what makes me suspicious. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Like literally, right. I, Foley is at the point where if, if people don't kick this off, he's going in so solo. I think, I think they've contacted the dragon. <laughs> yep. I will, I I will, will rain acid upon them. Just be careful of the forces. Do what you will. <laughs> Tom is no longer blind for the I moment. I cannot. I will kill them all! I am immortal! I'll cast <laughs> pass without trace now. <laughs> <laughs> like at, at the hearing of that, I'll be like, you hear a roar followed by a sizzling. I'm, oh, my hammer's over there out of reach, but I'm going in. <laughs> uh, pass without trace is up if anyone wants to be stealthy. Dun, 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 dun. What? Well, no, I'm not being stealthy. stealthy. I'm just What's saying, left? you have a plus 10 to stealth. Yeah, let's be stealthy boys as we get up there. I'm rolling that right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 21. All 23. Right. All right. If you're doing a group check, you've already succeeded. It's a 50. Yeah, so Cybel and enemy will also, also get that. Yeah, 34. well, they're, they're technically separating from you because they've made a plan with Foley, so they're going to go their own way. All right. All right. Foley the walking Where are you going? Are you going towards the... So at this point, you hear shouting, uh, screaming. You see uh, soldiers on top. The two uh, armored figures at the gate I'm, begin to turn and move and start marching their way out. I'm getting as close to the dragon slash horde of zombies in front of him as I can as quickly as I can. Yeah, I wonder what you're going to do. Yeah, it's <laughs> crazy to imagine what I could possibly be preparing Grass to do. Solely symbol, unleash as hell. Um, <laughs> uh, they are beginning to mobilize. Yeah, and I'm, they're I'm, all going for uh, bows, getting arrows knocked, aiming up, pulling back. Yeah, like I imagine my as the dragon flies in overhead. How far away from them am I? Can I do this in one turn, or is I this going to so, be? Yeah. Okay, then I'm I'm going to get in there, and I'm going to. One gonna... thing you do see as you get into position is that the tops of the tower, beams of radiant energy, fly out and slam into the dragon, and boy, he does not enjoy that. You know what? It's... The, 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 the two guard towers, or yeah. So are these the opposite side of the actual keep itself? Correct. So like keep and then... This is like the entrance gate. This is away from you. Okay. There's only so many things I can deal oh, with right. at a time. I mean, there's a lot happening. <laughs> I'm running into the Come thick on, of it. Step it up, buddy. I'm running into the thick, the thick of it. You're running into the center of the and courtyard. I do not care about stealth You've been point. seen by the divination, clearly. That's fine. Totally fine. He'll be my friend later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to cast Turn Undead as, on is. as many of them as I All possibly right. well, can. Well, you're going you're gonna to catch 11 creatures in this. I like it. Also, we're going to die so hard here. Or at oh. least I'm going <laughs> to die so hard here. Let the rucker I just imagine him hammer. running in, like, screaming with all the fog ah, coming out of him. I used to fog everywhere. I mean, hey, <laughs> yeah. you're Actually, to be fair, 
The divination can't see you because you're surrounded by fog. Yeah, you literally are a walking cloud. That's fair. So yeah, mushroom. Like Soli is running. Like his holy symbol is out. If you know what I mean. Uh, the hey gem is glowing. The hammer is hey up. It, none of this matters because he's clouded in mist and no one can see it. But like, trust me, he's he's charging what in. What is the DCA as that possible. they have to make? I believe it's a 15. Let me double check. Fifteen? It might, it might only be 13. If it's 15... Yeah, it's just a normal wisdom saving. So, it's 13. 13? 13. 13. 13 All wisdom. right. So, that means we've got... One, two, three... Four failures. It's a good start. They rolled pretty high. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah, so all of them need to run away. They certainly do. For a minute. And the Wait. other seven. Now, the dragon. I was including that. Did he pass or fail? He passed. Okay, so he's not running away. Right. Good. <laughs> what is everyone else doing? Stealthing, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to see what those towers are. And what else is there in this? They're 40 struggle? feet tall, so it's hard for you to make out from the courtyard. Each of the top of the towers are beams of radiant energy, large ones flying out Coming towards from the orbs dragon. similar to the one that we blew You're up. You're not sure, you can't see. But possibly similar uh, construction. Uh, and the soldiers were mobilizing their bows and arrows, but at this point are a lot more confused as to the uh, holy man that is charged into the center <laughs> the of the holy cloud. And where all their <laughs> options are to go? There are several side doors along the sides of the courtyard, and then right next to you, just a little bit, about 15 feet to the right, is a large door that leads into what appears to be the inner keep, or at least the outer keep. Yeah, I imagine like, basically from their perspective, I'm just sort of like a, a cloud of glowing energy. Wisp. Yeah. 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 It's a very right. angry cloud. <laughs> These are going to get nuts. So yeah, you can head over to those doors, or try so to climb the wall. I'm going to head over to the doors. doors. Okay, the big doors to the, the right. Yeah. I'll whisper and into the sanding stone. The beams, track out the towers or they will fry you alive. A huge wave of negative necrotic energy flies down and uh, pierces, it encompasses the light beam and like there's an energy going off at the top of that tower. As for you, Foley. Hmm. Yes. As the other three have opened the doors to lead into the inner courtyard. We'll get to that in just a sec. You are currently surrounded by... Let's see. We had... What was it? Seven failures? Yes. I am yeah. surrounded by a dragon and six... And six uh, soldiers. Yeah. What would you like to do about that? They're going to attack you, uh, assuming you're going to engage. Uh, do I get a turn? Uh, I kind of assumed that I had burned uh, my turn. It was technically a surprise. Oh, okay. Because th they didn't know you existed. Fair enough. They were preparing to attack so the dragon. So smoke. basically what's happened is they were it's all getting fair. their arrows it's ready, fair. aiming up, and then woof, you come around, they're like, what? It's fair. Okay. Um, so I will give you a turn to react. Okay. Um, will I, if I leave, given that I'm covered, will I draw attacks of opportunity or no? Yeah, but they'll all have disadvantage, yeah, and you'll okay. have, like, crazy I have 22. high... I could pump it up to 24 uh, Yeah, if I most likely to. they're not going to hit you. Okay. Um, um, yeah. The dragon's I'm, breath I'm, is another problem, but... Yeah, so I am going to... Uh, if uh, I admit, I kind of figured this was halfway a suicide run, uh, but uh, if I... If, uh, I will way, move out. You will, okay, you will get some attacks on you, assuming you're not going to disengage. Uh... I'm then tempted you, to. That is your action, though. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, you know what? I, there's no real reason not to, because these guys haven't really joined the fray in any big way. So, yeah, I will disengage. <laughs> They're literally moving away from it. <laughs> yeah, I, I will disengage, and I will back off a bunch. Uh, is there is there a corner that I can run around real quick to kind of, like, just a building corner or something, just to <sighs> make it a little less obvious where I am? Um, yeah, if not, that's fine. There, there are. It will take you longer to meet okay. up with the rest of no your worries. party. No worries. I'll just, I'll just back off thirty feet in the general direction of there. Thirty feet will get you there. Okay. Oh, okay. There. Uh, so the soldiers kind of just turn around and they see this fog cloud that is 
emitting this wave, um, and they go to deal with that. The dragon still flies yeah. up to go deal with the other dragon, because that's a problem. Yeah. Um, and they begin to march down towards you. Now, as you open the doors into the next uh, area, mm -hmm. tall, slender towers and walls of stone enclose a windswept courtyard. A large, fantastical ship with no masts or sails rests upon a platform in the center. Oh, its crystals and glistening metal adorn its base and endpoints, and its design seems alien to you. Tinkering about it are a few goblins, and patrolling the courtyard are a dragonborn, an Iranian, a halfling, and a winged elf. Secret airship. <laughs> Secret airship. In the None of them castle. have noticed you. In fact, they seem quite distracted. Can't ah. imagine why. <laughs> They're Don't. looking up. We need to protect the airship. Yeah. We need to get that. Yes, a hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> Fuck there are also I, several sorry, other Fox everything else. <laughs> Let's get there that are also shit. several other chambers. There looks to be um, sort of a large area with big two big double doors. There is what you can guess is some stairs heading up into some other type of uh, outbuilding. There is a um, an, in, an open area with archways, uh, and inside that are two uh, large five foot. Uh, sorry, are two large. Um, giant zombies adorned in steel armor. Um, but in the center of that area is a starry spherical orb etched with runes resting atop a pillar of marbled stone. And there uh, looks to have been someone who was recently there, but has begun to move as the dragon is now attacking. I see a figure just kind of darting out of sight from that look from that area. What do you think? That ship. Right. That ship is of utmost importance. No, not what that is. You don't know what that is. It is clearly to float, but it's adorned strangely. Can I make a history on it? Can I make a history check? History will work, yeah. History's fine. Considering, considering the crystal felon thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 17. Yeah, yeah, that's a Lunalian Man of War. This is... <sighs> it's, it, you're up. I mean, I'm going to go towards the ship you're on my turn. You're also standing but... in the middle of the gate. I am? All of you are. Yeah. They only haven't noticed you because there's a dragon, but it's only a matter of time before somebody yeah. sees you. Yeah, well, no, we're, we're under pass without trace, so we just got to. You find do, it. so yeah, you have yeah. a good chance of making it making it around. We My question is, are you heading for one of the outbuildings, or are you going to go around the courtyard? Well, yeah, the, this crystal orb thing is is past the that's, ship. Yeah, that's past the ship on the other side. Okay. I mean, there's also obviously doors leading into what appear to be the stronghold itself. I believe that crystal orb is for the scrying pieces. I think that's a fair assessment. Yeah, it seems like it. So let's sneak our way over to the ship. Let's see if we can board it, power it up, and get the hell out of here with it. Do you it. know how to pilot? Uh, ancestrally, I will soon. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I still need to figure one out of out my young vulpine, yeah. uh, one of my ancestors has been in Lunalia and uh, ironically was a pilot. <laughs> is this ship big enough that? to house the dragon? Like, is this ship big enough to hold, like, like for the Dracolich to stand on its deck? No. No, that will not work. But it can fly alongside it. Okay. And Foley can be the co-pilot because he read a poem about uh, airships from Nim Norcan one time. <laughs> okay, are we not to find who is causing these scars inside here? I assume you're moving as you're having this yeah. conversation. Okay. We cannot simply yeah, just do you take want the more stealth checks or? I'm fine with you continuing the stealth check, considering the okay. ship will be the one. Yeah, that then let's it. let's haul the ass Ariel the ship. Elf has like taken wing and has begun conjuring spells to channel at the uh, at the uh, dragon, while we... the rest of them seem to be heading for the. I... Um, the, the, the building with the big, large double doors. Let them go. Yeah, I feel a little bit bad that we specifically told them <laughs> we'd rain the hell up from below and are just completely ignoring it. But yeah, let's do this. Let's, let's fuck it. We're, 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 we're getting there. There are still some goblins on the ship. We can kill them. I mean, as they, uh, as the rest, as those patrol makes their way into the double door buildings, uh, they don't bother to close the door behind them because they're in a hurry. Mm -hmm. And you start to hear a little sounds of energy crystals winding up. Mm. I'm going to cast Expedition Retreat on myself. Okay. So I can move faster. I'll, anyway. I'll, I'll have for the ship with everybody if we're going to the ship. I think we might need some of those energy crystals. But we can find out once we're on board, I guess. And from the top of that building, several smaller fantastical ships begin to emerge out and start heading over towards the oh, dragon. Oh, Nikes. Uh, the goblins, are they like undead? Or are they no, they goblins? just look like goblins who are working away. They're like, work faster, work faster! Ah, ah! 
I'll... Sometimes I hate playing what low the, intellect What did the Naranian dress, like what was the dress of the Naranian? Similar to your to your own. Very I'll walk up to burly them. Burly, yeah. great axe. I'll uh, walk up with my uh, axe on my shoulder and say, what are you still doing here? We've got to get to the airships and take no, out that dragon. The goblins, oh, sorry. the goblins. Oh, the goblins. Yes. Got it. Ah! Uh, um. Hmm. Uh, uh. Why aren't you up repairing the smaller ships? They're more effective well, at this time. Because B-team's doing that. We're supposed to be here. Go help them. Let me persuade. A uh, deception check. This is brilliant. <laughs> Well, that's better than what I was going to do. Ooh, it's not bad. You dropped one behind you. If yeah, you step on it, I don't no, want the glass to blow up like, on your foot. Fifteen. Fifteen. I don't think their insight is super great. Uh, I think that's probably going to work. There he is. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. Uh, what would you get, sorry? Fifteen. That's just enough. You got a fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So they uh, start panicking and freaking out as goblins do. Uh, they all grab weird little contraptions that look a lot like those rods, that rod that you have there, and uh, they start heading over to the double-doored building. You also hear the sound of, uh, from up the top of the stairs, that door sliding open, and two more patrols heading out that way. I'm trying to keep eyes on for anyone that looks like, and this is a very vague term, but anyone that looks like the head honcho, like head honcho. So vibes. far, you've you've seen soldiers um, that are of various races, like halflings, dragonborn, Ariel elves, and Neranians, but you haven't seen anybody commanding them yet. Although it's clear the goblins are not on top. Right. But, okay. So am I on the ship? You can get on the ship, yeah. I'll get on the ship. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll we'll all get on the ship. Um, that was uh, technically uh, you have cover because the ship's railings and everything. Well, I'm also small, so. Well, yeah. <laughs> so I'll, I'll crawl along the uh, edges of the ship and just take a look air. at it, see if it's, see what it's about. So Gain you can as much information me, as possible. You can give me uh, an Arcana check. Twenty-six. So yeah, this is definitely uh, a man of war. Um, it could be operated by four of you, but it's not going to work very efficiently. Uh, they'll probably have ample time to use their smaller ships and catch up and, and board you. Um, but you, you feel like you could probably operate it, given uh, that it is charged. It's not fully charged, but it is charged. There is an opportunity to take this. However, we saw more of these in the air? There was a bunch of smaller ones that came out from the uh, that other building that they were all heading out to. And you can see that there's several groups of the... Uh, Dragonborn and the halflings aboard those, and they're flying over towards the dragon. Dragons, Cannons, the dragon little beams blast. of light are firing. You know what's that dragon is not going to last long. You know what's interesting? My background is the Arctime Federation, which gives me proficiency in vehicle tools hey. and navigation. Would it be beneficial to bring Uvalokopus here to draw them back towards the keep into close quarters? No, he I, must retreat. Yes, I believe he is near death. He's getting hit with tons of radiant cannons. Yeah. Yeah. Get him to retreat. We either leave now. I will, I will. I need to suspend. Okay, suspend. We need, we need some time. Fair enough. All sending stone and go. You have so one minute, hold I, on. I, I, you throw got a minute. A, I throw a cog of energy around us and time, light shines up. Right. We need a minute to talk here. What are we going to do? We have no game plan and too much information. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's this game in a nutshell. Well, we, 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 we here came to here to get a sword. You came here to get a sword? He, it's Foley. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's what Foley thinks we came here for. What sword? The well, one that you saw in your visions. Th the taking of the ship isn't necessarily our angle. Is there anything we can take from the ship to use a as a uh, weapon to fight. I can tell you that you could pull the energy crystals off, yeah. which would stop it from being able to function. And then, yeah, would we be able to use them as a weapon against whatever we're fighting here? Uh, the three of them, yeah. They would be able to restore spell slots with them. Whoa. Mm. Or Whoa. we could simply blow it up. You could also do that. I can summon lightning You could overcharge it those and cause it to blow. I could probably I hit them with my hammer. Oh, you see, you're at, I mean, your hammer will definitely do the trick. What's yeah. that? I thought we were here to find out the reason behind these scars. We have, as of yet, found nothing. 
Uh, that's not true. Little to nothing. Yeah, I think we found the individual responsible, so to speak. You've definitely, f- you've reached the center of the swamp at this point. The Lunalians. There are other buildings and outbuildings and doors and the, stuff. Like the that. presence of Lunalians here, in conjunction with this ancient land, and the gap of these time scars, makes me wonder. I have more questions now than answers provided. I do not know what is the correct course of action. I believe if we are to steal the ship, we should recruit some of those goblins. They will help us run it. We will pay them. It could work. (sighs) We need to find the head of the snake and chop it off. I will follow the your lead, okay? The is as powerful as its queen. Without it, they are in disarray, but we have yet to find it. This device is something that we should not lose, as it is a viable escape if we get surrounded. However, I do not believe that this is the item we need to solve what is happening in here. We are outmatched, and your new friend will be eternally perished if you do not sound its retreat. So be it. Then we take the ship, we regroup. We cannot outrun the others. Yeah, would you get a 26? Yeah. Those are scouts. Yeah. Well, I don't know what those are, but I just know that we can't run this as well. They're much faster than than this ship, even if you had a full crew. We could bring them down. The combined force of Yvarokopus and my boats could take them from the sky where we'll escape. At least we will not draw the fire of the towers anymore. Your time dragon is near death. I would not count on his help. He is taking a lot of it. Your time dragon's time <laughs> is almost up. <laughs> then what do you suggest we do, Ekin? I suggest you tell him to retreat. And what will we do? Well, we kill things. I do not know what My to do. My goodness, Embiid. <laughs> a scholar I never took you for. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've got an intellective negative one. What do you want? <laughs> I know not what this negative one you speak of is. I like that the barbarian's smarter. What else is, what else is around this area? Doors <laughs> leading into further into the stronghold, outbuildings, as well as that chamber with the sphere. The orb guarded by two giant skeletons, which are now mobilizing. Well, they're in the process of moving slightly, and they're now standing still. Are we still suspended? Uh, I mean, probably not. It's over now. Okay. Definitely over Uh, at this point. I am going to go and smash those crystals, and I'm just going to walk over into the. No, Foley, the smashing them does nothing for us. It will stop them from hurting the dragon. They are useful for. These particular crystals do not harm the the dragon. I'm talking about the ones in the tower. Oh, the tower. Fuck yeah, yeah, go. I'm going (laughs) to. That's a fair bit of ways. Yep. Okay. I mean, unless somebody tells me something well, else. Unless he's I'll, retreating the dragon. <laughs> I, will, I will tell him I will call for retreat. Actually. Oh, very well. Hold Not on. a bad <coughs> idea. Oh. If you Come back. We may still yet again win this war, but not this battle. Your immortality must be preserved. There's a roar sounded by more sounds of radiant fire, but he just does start to retreat. Good. He's caused the destruction we've needed. I have an idea. Very well. I'll go to the helm of the ship. Okay. I'll try to activate it. All right. Make but an we're we're in an open ceiling courtyard, right? Like it's meant to float. It's an out. open courtyard, yeah. Right, okay. is, yeah, you're on like a landing platform. I'm going to go down and see if there's any weapons on the ship. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> there were. They were all grabbed by the goblins. Oops. I was going to say, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hit that by accident. <laughs> and I will, and I will right. stay on the deck. You hit the helm and uh, bring this thing online, is what you're trying to do, right? Yep. Just okay. to be clear, I have since abandoned my quest for the crystals when he called for the. Yeah, I, I understood, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no. All right. You'll get your wish. You start hearing the <laughs> you wine. You want to plunge, Master Foley? Always. You can plunge from the airship. Excellent. And the uh, the ship starts to whir, and there's some sort of mechanical sounds coming from within. Anybody around us? Like 18 <laughs> passive perception? Anybody around us that's noticing? Uh, not yet, but give it about 
30 seconds, yeah. less than that. Give it about 10 seconds and they're going to start to notice. Is that is that flying aerial elf still nearby? or are They're elves? all still nearby. They didn't do it that far away. The... All the way up in the air. They were dealing with the dragon, who's now retreating, so they're starting to regroup and pull back. There is presumably the airship has an a entry point that we claim, clamored up, or... Aaron plank? Like, yeah, like, yeah. There's like a, is there just sort of one way on, or is there a bunch of ways on? We could climb. It's just the one I'll way on. pull though. the gang plank yeah. carefully yeah, back okay. onto the ship. No, yeah, right. that, was, that was the goal there, yeah. All right, so what do I need to do? Uh, yeah, what, what do we need to do? <laughs> Didn't we, okay. we, used to, we used to have music that was, like, fast-paced, like, not, not the combat music. Did we not used to have music that was, like, weird? Weirdly, like, uh, intense? Sort of. Oh, okay. At All right. one point. That's fine. I, I don't know. We'll oh. spend some time on playlists soon. Okay, so what do I need to do? Uh, what are you trying to do? Ascend? Lift, lift this thing up in the air, yeah. So, to ascend, uh, how high up do you want to go? Let's go. <laughs> Let's get above those towers. Well, that's only 40 feet high, so you could climb up 50 feet. Oh, yeah, well, well how far can you fall? Infinite feet. Well, with feather, feather fall, fall, 60 again. feet would be ideal. All yeah. Right. Let's go 100 feet up then. <laughs> 60 feet around for a minute, so he's fine. All right. You ascend 100 feet, which burns a spell slot on the ship. How many, do I know how many spell slots are on the ship? Ah, uh, you're guessing about yeah, 50. 50? It's a big boat. What it kind of lurches, and it, it's a little bit at an angle. It's slightly off to the kilt to the side. You're all sliding around. <laughs> what clearly. skill am I operating this with? Uh, this will be um, vehicles Proficiency air. vehicles? Vehicles air. Uh, I, I suddenly am proficient in vehicles air. Okay. <laughs> Ancestral recall. So go ahead and give me a... Um, let's make an intelligence. So it's just for this roll. <laughs> you can add that proficiency bonus. Uh... 15. Okay, yeah, I think that's enough. So you're able to lurch this thing 100 feet up into the air. Uh, several calls begin to see. You can see more of those smaller ones kind of whizzing back to circle around to start calling out. Like, ah, oh, what's going on? Yeah. Did I bone direct into the Stupid air? Stupid goblins! <laughs> <laughs> did you want to plunge down on those, or did you want to... That's going to be almost impossible. Yeah. These things are... <laughs> Like no, 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 I meant did you want to plunge oh, down the, the towers? So at this point, you can see what Whoa. looked to be giant, yeah, what do like, we see? like, ballista-style mechanisms, but mm -hmm. instead of firing bolts, it's just sort of got a big golden crystal at the end. And how many are there? Uh, one on the t each of the towers, there's two. He is ready to do what you tell him to. Did you want to plunge? Uh... I don't like to metagame too much. The question is, uh, if I plunge, I am not getting back onto the ship with you. That's fine. So you'll, be, you'll be on the top of the tower. You can go down to the... Yeah, well, I'm... I, yeah, you can go down to where all the undead are. You it's haven't really yeah. shared your I plan with this. My plan yet. was so you can plunge onto the tower. After that, okay. only time will tell. All right, yeah, I'll... I'll, <laughs> I'll look I'll, to Eke and I'll say, when I draw bolts of lightning, they come from the sky, not from us. They will not see who has conjured this storm. If you would like air support, you merely must ask. I, okay, I already told I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, well, I'm he's, off the he, ship. He's, well, he's yeah. got to get you over there. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. So he's, you're lurching the ship forward towards the, uh, the towers, uh, and the scouts are going to start attacking you. Yeah, they, they, they know that the people that are flying the ship... Well, are okay, I guess not attacking, but they're going to uh, like try to get up in close. I'll patrol out, like, in the middle, looking like I know what... <laughs> like you know what you're doing? Yeah, and what's going on. All right, on. give me a deception check. <laughs> okay. What keeps these aloft? The crystals. Uh, you know what? I'm going to set my result to a 20. All right. Oh. So they fly around. <laughs> uh, they kind of look confusingly. Uh, the Ariel, one of the Ariel elves, like, you do a side eye as he, mm. as he comes past. And uh, they kind of look at each other. And two Ariel elves fly down to the courtyard and enter in through the main door. Whatever you guys are going to do, might want to do it quick. At this point, the airship <laughs> has now reached the point where it is above the, uh, the Sunfire Ballista. Then Ballista's I'm end. going over the edge. 100 feet. Actually, no, it'll be 60 feet. 60 feet, yeah. Because it's 40 feet up. You said 60 feet. Uh, yeah. we're meant to do for who we Yeah, so, okay, so, so quick mechanics on the plunge dwarfish. <laughs> 
So I know I can feather fall. Yeah. And I will take uh, little to no damage. You'll take no damage, damage at 60 feet. Alternatively, I cannot feather fall. How much is the damage for... It'll be 60, 10. Or 60, 66. 66. Yeah, 10, and you will take half of it. I'll take half. It'll take the other half. And it'll take... The, well, it'll take that half regardless. Oh, I guess, yeah, feather fall would probably negate that, eh? Yeah, if you don't use feather fall, you're gonna hit it with a lot of force. Feather yeah. fall will just make you touch down with like a tap. Well, no, touch. I mean, you touch still like you well. still fall pretty quickly. You do. So I think we yeah. had said that it will still take some damage. Yeah, but I think not it'll only enough. take the half damage rather than yeah, the full. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll take I'll I'll. Can we just uh, can you tie a rope on your on your waist so when you hit you're still bungee jumping? I don't think I have a sixty foot rope to be oh, honest. Most rope are fifty either. feet, I think. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can tie one, but it wouldn't help. Yeah, yeah mine's right, 50 fine. feet. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll 20 feet onto it, or 60 feet onto it. All right. So Full bore. Would you like to roll the uh, the D6s? I'll let you do it. Okay. And below the plunge 60, was You're made. landing on top of the, the... There's three undead operating it. You're landing on top of the... It's on the device, on the yeah. Device. That's going to be 16 bludgeoning damage. Okay. So you will take half of that, and you can make Eight. an athletics check to attempt not to land prone, if you like. I will do that. And the Ballista will take 16 bludgeoning damage. That's it? It's the fold. That's how much, that's how much I roll. Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah, my... You, you, you can also smack. Yeah. Okay, now that you're there, you can smack yeah. it. And it takes yeah. double because you haven't had um, any time to hammer. <laughs> you can't control well, it, can you? Meaning... It's a Ballista. It, re it requires. I would do that. Could. Yeah, you I could am gonna reroll that. That was an absolutely atrocious roll. Um, let's could, try could you do that? I wonder if you could do that. Because you could just run it through the courtyard and kill everything uh, in the courtyard. The, the DC varies by height, yeah. or is it just oh. a straight ten? I forget. It's. I think we were making it like the damage you would take. The so DC in this is, case, it would just be eight. DC would be. I think it's what you would take normally. Sixteen. So 16. Okay, then I will reroll it again. Because apparently I can't roll above ten. Jesus. Statistically, uh, it's not like you're hurting for inspiration. No, I just at this point I should have just set the die roll. Oh, mm -hmm. fair, yeah. There we go. Okay, twenty. Okay, <laughs> so you land on the thing. There's cracks that run over it. The undead kind of just draw swords. And I will. I will. And you then, attack the with your adamant. Yeah. It will take double damage because it's an object. Uh, that'd be an eighteen. I assume that's. Oh, about, that hits. Yeah. yeah. Um, cool. So I, or is it auto crit? How does adamantine is an auto crit? Uh, right? Adamantine is if you hit, if you hit it's the crit. material, it's an auto crit. Yeah. Yeah. So you deal yeah. a critical hit to this thing. Yeah. It's, adamantine's gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> it's still I, nine I don't damage. I those dice like you. you. Should roll the metal ones. I, nine? You know, it doesn't matter what dice I no. use. Is that nine total? Uh, plus yeah. With Sorry. Oh, oh, right. Sorry. Plus my strength. Yeah. yeah. So it's actually, uh, it's actually thirteen. Thirteen. I believe. Yeah. Okay. It is half destroyed. Damn, it's tough. Well, it's a ballista. The rest um, of you up to. Well, hang on. Okay, you still got more? I guess you have a bonus action. But we're not done yet. Uh, now I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay. As a bonus action. And have it attack? Uh, I, the same thing. The same thing, okay. Yeah. Uh, that'd be a 15. That hits? Yeah, I mean, I'm... Not gonna bother with that. Uh, <laughs> Plus your wisdom, isn't it? Yeah, I mean it's still a, uh, it's still five. Okay. I just my D eight has rolled. Actually, in fairness, it's rolled fine. It's just most of the high rolls were when I was healing the dragon. <laughs> how how wide is that tower? Like from ballista to undead to foley. Uh, what do you mean wide? Like how like the like if, if the I drop a lightning bolt on it, could I get the ballista and the undead, but not Foley? Because five the feet Foley's on top of the ballista right now. Yeah, they're not gonna. <laughs> if you hit the ballista, you're hitting Foley. There's always other ones. Um, well, there's the other ballista, which presumably it's on the other tower. Like, uh, are there only two towers that are firing? There's only right? the two towers. There's just two. The two towers. If we take those out, I mean, the, the only thing is at this point okay. the dragon's retreated, but. Still not, still but he can not come, he'll come. He can come back once these towers are gone. Probably. I mean, does Eke want to do anything? I guess you're you're at the helm. So Eke is going you're to turn and aim the ship to the other tower and crush well, into someone it. Someone will need to operate that. Okay. Oh, you're oh you're ramming it. I'm ramming yeah. it. Oh, okay. Oh, well, Never that'll... mind then. You can just do that. That's, That's fine. I'm ramming <laughs> the other tower. You can. Yeah, you All can. right. 
I will grab onto something. <coughs> yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. hit the Eke deck. Will, Eke will literally say, hold on. <laughs> Very calmly. <laughs> hold on. All right. Would grab you like to railing. roll the 20d10 or shall I? Is that? Would you like to roll the 20d10 or shall I roll it? 20 20d10. That's what it says. For ramming? Yeah. Damn! Jesus Christ. How big is this ship? I mean, is oh, there it's any gargantuan. Chance? It's massive. It's is a there warship. Any chance of it living through that? Like the tower? Yeah. Probably not. Okay. But <laughs> the ship takes half the damage, so I need to know what it is. Oh, I see. 39, 45, 44, 52. 52 on the first D10. 52 plus 62, 71. I will need the two of you to make uh, strength six. Strength save? Yeah. Ooh, lovely. <laughs> the thing I'm great at. 93. Um, 30, 20. Strength save. 94, 97, 107. Oh my god. 107. That's 111. 111. I mean, that tower's gone. I would think. <laughs> yeah. uh, your mm, ship takes no. half of that. Which, you know, isn't that big of a deal. It has a lot of hit points. Seriously? <laughs> hey, hey. When Eke hits it, he goes, We. 13. <laughs> 13? 13 strength, sir. And what did uh, Peanut get? Dirty 20. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. you're, you're yeah. fine. So, with a 13, give me a luck roll. All right. Bye, um, High Mark. Bye, Mark. Stone, stone is going to be the first. That's cocked. Uh. I can, I can totally picture Eke. <laughs> 16 and 18, so yes. Okay, so you managed to uh, fall prone, and you're hanging off the side, but you're still on the ship. As like it one scythe in the wood. slams like. into this big stone tower that Whee. has stood for <laughs> hundreds of years. What's that? This, this tower has stood for hundreds of years. And now it has fallen Since the dawn seconds. of time. Yeah. And it is now a pile of rubble. That's okay. I'll reverse Peanut's it later. Peanut's heart's breaking a little bit yeah, okay. on the inside. Yeah, within 24 hours, I can the reverse it. The whole damn tower. I'll just yeah, sit there and reverse it for the next, like, two days. Can yeah, yeah, yeah. I pull myself up, please? Yes. I, I'll crawl over and help you back up, too. Yeah. Um, crazy fuck. Holy. Uh, well, you're going to get attacked. Uh, no, no, no. This is, this is a rea- This is a... Reaction. I got it. Um, Foley prides himself on being a cool guy, but uh, he does turn around to look at what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he does look at the explosion. I mean, he does look at I the don't explosion. see why you how you couldn't. Right? You do hear the we. <laughs> yeah. We. Are there, are there, are there tons of forces below that are like mobilizing, like far further below. Arrows are launching at the ship, but I mean, the ship. They're bouncing off the hull. Anything going on that I can see in range that that's Give me a looking perception rather, check. rather weird? Uh, natural Three. 20 for 28. 28? 28. Well, you do see the main doors to the stronghold open up and a pale. Where the heck am I? There we are. A pale. Aerial elf in deep magenta half plate armor of crystal with a sword of brilliant amethyst sheathed at his side. It's the sword! Emerges with a dread warrior of unravering undead countenance, a dragonborn halfling, and goblin all dressed in military regalia. He draws the sword, directs it towards you, and we will end it there. Oh. Uh, I told you there was shoot. a sword. <laughs> well, that's not great. <laughs> The opposite of great. That was great. That was freaking amazing. This was amazing. great, though. <laughs> you, you got to plunge. I got to plunge. From a ship in the air. I really, plunge. really, actually, the only interesting thing that happened in that entire session was that I got to plunge. Well, it was, it was, the, it was not the most interesting. It was the most. It was the highlight. It was the highlight. That was okay. So first of all, thank you, everyone. Oh yeah, seriously. Yeah. Holy crap! Oh my goodness. My oh, God. Five train. Thank you so much. Uh, Oh. We're gonna use more of that inspiration in next week. Yeah, we're week saving it. Don't worry. Because I may or may not have a heroic inspiration that I'm waiting to use with this airship. <laughs> yeah, wow, I we've, mean, got, we've got this. Don't I had worry. some thoughts on mine, so I don't think I'm gonna use it now. But I think we're probably okay given the the state of the board right now. 
Uh, thank you so much, everyone. And and also, I, I noticed a bunch of new people followed, so thank you for that. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And for new people who are hanging out in chat, we're going to be back soon. Yeah, we're... Normally, on a normal week, we come back half an hour from now with another session of D&D. This week, our DM for that game is, is out. He's doing a board game weekend, which is awesome. Um, we're going to be coming back with Hero Quest. We're going to try to be back in half an hour, but uh, that's something we haven't done in a long time, so I might need yeah, a little bit of extra time. Yeah, just got to do a bit of clean up here. It's not hard. It um, should be fine. Uh, Hero if, Quest, guys. If we're a little late, uh, you know, bear with us, uh, but half hour, 45 minutes at the outset, yeah. we should be back with some Hero Quest. We're calling it Deadliest Hero Quest because yeah. uh, it's not just whatever the book says, it's whatever. Yeah, Chad and, whatever I, are gonna, the... Chad and I are gonna conspire a little bit to uh, drop some extra goodies for them. Yeah. All right, so, and then beyond that, tomorrow night at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are going to attempt our first ever live eight-person magic draft, Magic the Gathering draft. We have eight personalities that we'll be interviewing on social media all night, or all tonight and tomorrow. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to be drafting Magic the Gathering. I'll be commentating with Matt Blong, and uh, we'll be, you'll be you'll hearing me talk about all kinds of card maneuvers and stuff, and then you'll get to watch these guys play for their draft hour, plus three rounds of... And we'll be doing this for eight weeks. It's an eight-week yeah. season, and there'll be some prize support and, and stuff like that. And we're going to have cameras on every individual, uh, their play mat. We're going to be able to watch every match. Uh, we're going to cycle through them as we go, yeah. so it's going to be hopefully a really good time. Yeah, and, bit oh. and bit donation for that actually goes toward prize support for them, so that's really, really cool. So if you, know, you can, yeah. you know, every hundred bits goes toward a pack that they will get in the prize pool. So it's kind of cool. It's great for them. It's exciting to get the local community involved. Uh, these guys are really psyched. We were looking forward to launching this uh, before the last wave, but now that everything's opened up and things are kind of back to normal, we're back on set and making it happen. So until then, uh, we'll see you in about half an hour or so.